Hello, everybody. Gabe Farias and Sean Morris as we broadcast live here on MeTV from Ferris Stadium. And we have got a good one for you later this evening. The Taft Raiders and the Harlan Hawks. Sean Morris, this is going to be a fun one here as we wrap up our final Pick and pull South Texas High School football game day of the season. Yeah, I was about to say that. What a way to end it with yeah. two teams that are battling out for the number two spot in district. Both of these teams have lost games they probably shouldn't have lost during the season. Yeah. But uh, tonight, I mean, it really set this up for a great game tonight, so this was going to be exciting. They're yeah. going to leave it all on the field. Yeah, it's for sole possession of second place in 29-6. And the Taft Raiders 7-2 in the season, 5-2 and two in 29-6. Say their coach, one of my favorite guys. Both of these guys that are heading these teams are two of yeah. my favorite coaches in Greater San Antonio. Ricky stayed. Last week, though, you always have that one blemish that you look at a schedule and you look at the Taft Raiders schedule and you think, how did they lose that football game? But they dropped Jay Mustang, a game opponent. Uh, you know, Coach Gutierrez has those guys ready each and every week. But that was kind of a head scratch of the 14-13 yeah. loss to the Mustangs. Yeah, it really was. I, it wasn't the game I expected them to lose at all last week. Uh, we were, of course, uh, a little bit shocked whenever we saw that happen. But, you know, in this district, crazy things happen. We see it every week. Teams come out of nowhere and beat them. Same thing can be said, you know, for the Harlan Hawks uh, earlier on the season, game that we broadcast here live on NeTV. Uh, whenever they lost to the O'Connor Panthers, and everybody was kind of doing the same thing, saying this team started out really strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they lose to an O'Connor team that's really rebuilding this year. So a couple games both teams should have won, but that set them up for this 5-2 and two record. Speaking of great play. coaches, we enjoy Eddie Salas doing a fantastic job yeah. with Harlan. That is a fun football team to watch. It really is, and a lot of young guys on this team, too. This is a team that, you know, that is – come up really fast and that's one of the things we talk about with this district 29 6a you look at the history of these teams that have been here brennan whenever they started they got good quick you look at harlan they started they got good quick warren did the same thing back yeah. in the day now it's Sotomayor's opportunity. They're going to get They're good. They're going to get good really quick. Real so quick. You just never know. This is a really good district. All right. This last week we had some great standout performances. Let's look at some of the individual performances and individual standouts from this past week of action, starting with Kerrville Tyvee Antlers running back Logan Edmonds with his team down, Sean, 31-28 in less than a minute to play. He returns a kickoff 85 yards. Huge play for the game winning score tyvee beats veterans memorial 35 to 31. veterans memorial is a really good team jay mustangs running back jay moda didn't score a touchdown but he ran between the tackles all night long to control the clock as the mustangs get the huge win over the taft raiders 14 to 13. the bernie greyhounds defensive tackle Braden bays he's only a sophomore 75 there on the screen forced four fumbles against the somerset bulldogs the greyhounds win 43 to 14. Team big win for the Greyhounds. Still undefeated. The Steel Knights running back Jaden Bailey had a very busy evening last week. Bailey scored all of Steel's touchdowns, wow. all the points. Three overtimes it took him to beat the Judson Rockets, 38-36. Highlands Owls wide receiver DeAnthony Johnson caught three touchdown passes as the Owls beat the Sam Houston Hurricanes 41-21, clinching the fourth playoff spot. Clemens Buffalo sophomore running back Joshua Jackson had a rushing touchdown and caught two passes for 114 yards, and he scored on both of them. The Buffaloes defeat the East Central Hornets 45-28. to Alamo Heights, Mules, wide receiver, watch this play. Rhett Anderson caught two touchdown passes and returned two punts for touchdowns. The Mules easily defeat Lanier, but watch the effort of Rhett Anderson. They defeat Lanier 63-7. to What a play by the Mules wide receiver. Good football team in Alamo Heights. How about this performance by Wagner Thunderbirds running back Wanye Taylor? Nine carries for 218 yards, and he scored four touchdowns. Wagner takes care of business against the Seguin Matadors, 69 to 42. This is one of my favorite quarterbacks in Texas. Warren Warriors Jr. Antonio Mesa, 20 of 28. He throws six touchdown passes to three different receivers. Warren may have punched their playoff ticket with a 49-35 win over the Stevens Falcons. And it wouldn't be a week without a Ty Hawkins highlight. The Johnson Jaguar sophomore quarterback threw five touchdown passes in the first half and sat the second half. Jags defeat Lee 57-7. to Between Antonio Mesa and Ty Hawkins, I think those two might be two of the top three or four quarterbacks in South Texas. And you're forgetting another one, Ashton DeBose. He's I, I, pretty good, too. That's why, I said, that's why I said three or four, because I think Mr. DeBose is certainly at the top of that list. Big wins from this past week from some of the teams in South Texas. We are going to start with the Kerrville Tyvee Antlers. They score with less than a minute 
left to take down the Veterans Memorial Patriots. 35 to 31. Tyvee takes on Lockhart this week to see where they finish in the top four in that district. Brandeis stays perfect in district after defeating the Clark Cougars 35 to 28. The Broncos take on Reagan this week for the district championship. How about the Bernie Greyhounds? They continue their solid play. They are number four in 4A Division One in the state of Texas. 9-0 in the season after defeating Somerset 34-14. to Greyhounds play Fredericksburg tomorrow night. The Highlands Owls punched their playoff ticket last week by defeating the Sam Houston Hurricanes 41-21 to because of this young man right here. Boom, Willie Gaskin. The Wagner Thunderbirds, 69-42 to winners over the Seguin Matadors. Puts them in a time with New Braunfels Canyon for the number two spot. They play tonight to see who stays there. Steel Knights and Judson Rockets go to three overtimes last week, and the Knights prevail with a hard-fought 38-36 victory. So with their big 49-35 win over the Stevens Falcons last week, the Warren Warriors shore up the number four spot in 29-6A. We've been talking about it earlier. By far the biggest win of the week was the Jay Mustangs using a very strong defense to take down the Taft Raiders 14-13. This puts Taft into this tie that we're talking about tonight at number two with the Harlan Hawks. Just a couple of games I want to mention. The Burbank Bulldogs. How about them Bulldogs? They yep. defeat Edison to punch their playoff ticket. The Indians, Harlan the Indians, are on their way to the playoffs with a 34-17 win over Jeff. The Churchill Chargers, I called it last week. Yep. If they beat Lee, they go to the playoffs. Big win last week over the Marshall Rams. We are going to take a break. When we come back, conversation with Daniel Rudiger from the movie Rudiger is a part of our Outside the Locker Room. Folks, it's Pickable South Texas High School Football Game Day on the KSET Big Game coverage up and right here on me tv it's so easy to love pick and pull why how about the largest inventory in south texas how about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com how about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle at Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player and you'll win two tickets to a 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. I'm Zakari Franklin. On the football field, my job's to do whatever it takes to win. Coach taught us we win the game with the right plan and teamwork. Your future's not a game. After a serious injury from a car truck wreck, how things turn out depends on having the right plan. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Get a fierce, experienced team of lawyers who do what it takes to win. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Don't wait. Call 8. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. Folks, there are good sports movies, and then there are great sports movies. And you have the iconic ones, the ones that truly inspire. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to sit back at the man who sat at the core of what may very well have been one of the greatest sports stories of all time. Here is this week's very special Outside the Locker Room. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad to prove to everyone prove that I worked what? That I was somebody. Oh, you are so full of crap. You're five feet nothing, a hundred and nothing, and you got hardly a speck of athletic ability. And you hung in with the best college football team in the land for two years. Here at Central Catholic, you're talking to a bunch of kids, and one of the things I noticed 
you don't get tired of that. Talk about how you're able to, to take what you did back in the 70s and, and make that relevant to kids now. Well, the message is timeless, as you know. Yes. So you grew up with a message that's really universal. Everyone understands discipline and structure, and they understand you got to work together. They hear, they heard it many, many times. Sure. And when they hear it from someone else, then it connects. So sometimes you got to have a movie to do it, music to do it, or someone they admire to say it to them, or someone that did something that they want to do that says it to them. That's what makes it work. But what I noticed, and watching you speak to those kids, I can tell you don't get tired of that. You love inspiring kids. Well, kids are our future. Yeah. And they're the ones who are, you know, they have, they have an opportunity and a chance to kind of get rid of the goofy thinking that they have to deal with. Uh, by goofy thoughts, I, you know, whether it's media, whether it's teachers, whether it's parents, whether it's friends tell them they can't do it or you're not worthy of it. You know, they have a shot to change that. And when you have that opportunity to let them know that you can change that, you can change it in 10 seconds. You can change it that quick if your mindset's right. It's a great story. And you would think that that great story would translate to a great immediate movie. The movie, the story is about persistence, but making the movie, you had to kind of take that same persistence to make the movie as well. You have to have a vision yeah. and a purpose and a cause for anything to get done. If you have no purpose or cause, it won't ever. The persistence and all that won't matter. You have to really believe in it. And that's what I did with Notre Dame. I felt like I belong there. I should be here. And you fight for that feeling, so just like the movie. You see Rocky, Hoosiers, Field of Dreams. All those messages were clear. And I said, that's what I want to do, and that's what I did. Looking at your backstory, one of the things that I found amazing was the message that you would always deliver was treat people kind, treat people nice. And it seemed like you treating people nice. We're having this conversation. I feel like I've known you for, for 30 years. You're yeah. one of the nicest guys I've met. You treat people nice and good things happen in life. Tell me what that means to you. Treat people fair. Yeah. That's the difference. You can be firm and fair. Uh, you have to have, you, you know, being nice doesn't mean, uh, hi, buddy, how you doing? Being nice is telling them, how, telling them the truth is being nice. I always tell people the truth and tell them, you know, where you're at, how you're thinking. And communication is the key, and that's when it works. When you hear the phrase, overcome adversity, what does that mean to you? Uh, everybody overcomes adversity. Yeah. And if you look for adversity, you probably won't do it. But if you handle adversity as it comes, then you, then that's, that's why it works. Uh, we have to live life to its fullest. But if you look at life, the hobbies, why get out of bed? So we don't know what's going to hit us. All we have to do is get up, be happy, be, be uh, ready, be conditioned, uh, train yourself with your good thoughts, positive thoughts. And when something happens, then you can handle it. There's always a way to fix it. You go to the people with wisdom, people who have been through the struggle. A lot of the kids who are up where they're at, they had to struggle to get to where they got. How'd you get here? Uh, why'd you get here? Everybody looks at the glory, not the journey. Boy, what, what a wonderful blessing it was to talk to Daniel Rudy Rudiger. Sean, where do you where do you rank Rudy as one of the top sports movies yeah, of all time? I mean, if it's not number one, it's definitely in the top three. It's a great story. It really all right. is. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, KSET 12's top 12. And also, we're going to be running down the schedule that you're going to catch right here on the KSET Big Game coverage app. It's Pick and Pull South Texas High School Football Game Day on the KSET Big Game coverage app. And right here on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At pick and pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's pick and pull.
John Rackler here. Don't miss out on the end of the year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. And welcome back to Pick and Pull South Texas High School Football Game Day. Gabe Funnies and Sean Morris as we head towards tonight. Big one, the determination of the second spot in 29-6A, the Taft Raiders and the Harlan Hawks. And we talk about this each and every week. Our partnership, Sean, with KSET 12, Greg Simmons, Larry Ramirez, and the folks out there, fantastic. Each and every week they provide us with KSET 12's top 12. So let's go ahead and run down the 12's top 12 for week 11 of the season making their way back into 12 stop 12 the new Braunfels unicorns in at six and three with three straight 27 6 a victories and heading to a playoff spot the burbank bulldogs stay in the number 11 spot they are also headed to the playoffs following their 32 21 win over edison in at number 10 we will see them tonight the taft raiders fall a few spots after their upset loss to john jay last week and at number nine, another team we'll watch tonight here on MeTV, the 7-2 Harlan Hawks coming into this one following a much-needed bye week. Staying put at number eight, the 13-5A Division I District Champions. How about them Southside Cardinals with an 8-1 record? Jumping into the number seven spot, the 7-2 Reagan Rattlers preparing this week for their huge district title matchup with the Brandeis Broncos. Jumping into the number six spot, the New Braunfels Canyon Cougars as they head to their huge season ending contest with the Wagner Thunderbirds this week. Staying put at number five, the Brandeis Broncos with an eight and one record. As we said, they take on number seven, Reagan, this week. And at number four, they continue their 5A dominance. They won number four, Alamo Heights Mills looking to end the season strong when they take on Sam Houston later tonight. In at number three, the Smithson Valley Rangers also with an eight and one record after destroying the Buda Hayes Hawks last week. In at number two, the eight and one Brennan Bears wrapping up their regular season tonight as they take on the John Jay Mustangs. Remaining in the number one spot for the ninth straight week in a row the 9-0 Steel Knights coming into their final game of the season following their nail-biter win over the Judson Rockets last week that was a triple overtime game it was Outs a good one. outside of uh, the Canyon Cougars jumping to six five through one pretty much the same it's been yeah, like that for a while it has and we'll see what happens this week that Reagan Brandeis game is going to be a big one all right folks we've got some action right here this coming week on the k -Set big game coverage we had a few games that had to change to Thursday but let's run down the Thursday schedule right now Johnson taking on Madison Brennan taking on Jay I believe this was a moved game Judson taking on New Braunfels Alamo Heights and Sam Houston Highlands taking on Brackenridge and the game you're going to catch right here on me TV Taft taking on Harlan Tomorrow night, St. Pius X comes into town to take on Central Catholic. Somerset goes to Uvalde. Burbank takes on Lanier. O'Connor and Holmes. Roosevelt takes on Marshall. Brandeis and Reagan, probably the biggest game of the week. Clemens takes on Steele after that. And our Saturday action, Warren taking on Sotomayor. And Jefferson taking on Edison in the Tommy Bowl. That wraps up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday action. Yep, you can catch all those games on the KSAT Big Game Coverage app and at ksap.com. All right, folks, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Sean's going to talk about what's going to happen tonight between Taft and Harlan. It's Pick and Pull South Texas High School Football Game Day on the KSAT Big Game Coverage app and right here on MeTV. It's so easy to love Pick and Pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull for your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. Don Rackler here. If you've never had five-star service, now's the time to give John Wayne a try. With the fall weather, my techs aren't as busy, so we're having a BOGO sale. Buy any precision tune-up, get one free. That includes a heating, air conditioning, water heater, or electrical panel tune-up. That's right, buy one tune-up, get one for free for only $69. And if my technician didn't provide you with five-star service, I'll give you your money back. Give John Wayne a try today. Call or text at 293-6700 and tell them you want the BOGO deal.
On the field, we fight hard and smart. It's about teamwork and strategy. When an 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury puts you on the sidelines, your next move could determine your future. And you want to win. Get a winning team, Wainwright. Don't wait. Call 888-8888. Wainwright Injury Lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Go for the win. Just call Wainwright. Call Wainwright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. All right, welcome back to Pick and Pull South Texas High School Football Game Day. Gabe Farias and Sean Morris as we get ready for Taft and Harlan. Sean's about to tell us what it's going to do. At the end of the game, we're going to pick our winners for tonight. I'm going to make a prediction and show everybody what color socks I'm wearing. You're going to make a prediction, but right now, Sean, tell us what's going to happen. Well, we're going to start off talking about the visiting team tonight, and that's the Taft Raiders. They come into this game with a 7-2 and record, 5-2 and in district under their head coach, Ricky Stade. They're coming off that 14-13 ouchie, that shocking loss to Jay Mustangs last week, <laughs> using Gabe's word. Yeah. Currently sitting tied at number two in district with the Harlan Hawks, who we will see tonight. On the offensive side, the Raiders quarterback, Johnny Lott, doesn't have the huge passing stats that most QBs do, but he makes up for it in the running game. Lott has 697 yards passing with nine touchdowns and three interceptions, but he's also got 413 yards rushing and seven touchdowns. The guy he gives the ball to all night long is running back T.J. Andrews, who leads the district with 1,241 yards rushing and 14 touchdowns. At 6'2", 200 pounds, Andrews is a flat-out stud. When the Raiders throw the ball, Jaden Alamon is their top receiver with 587 yards receiving and five touchdowns. This offense can move the ball effectively. They average almost 300 yards per game on the ground, but if they get into a rut, it's hard for them to get out. So we'll see what happens tonight. On the defensive side, this is a scrappy defense the Raiders have. They give up 296 yards per game, which is less than Harlan, but still not great. Charles Barber Jr. has three interceptions for the Raiders, and Ed Cotter has two. This defense has several underclassmen playing, so uh, there's a bright future for Coach Ricky State on the defensive side. Taft's loss last week to the Jay Mustangs was a huge letdown, and hopefully a wake-up call as they head into this game. A win tonight would set them up nice and going into the playoffs for the Raiders. They are taking on the Harlan Hawks. They also come into this game with a 7-2 record. They're 5-2 in district as well under their head coach, Eddie Salas. The Hawks defeated the Jay Mustangs 47-27 two weeks ago, and they had their much-needed bye week last week. As I mentioned earlier, they're tied at number two with these Taft Raiders. On the offensive side, the Hawks are led by their junior quarterback, Noah Ferris. He is a pocket passer. He's got 2,143 yards passing, and he's thrown 20 touchdown passes and seven interceptions. Running back Jacob Gonzalez has 1,226 yards rushing, and he's scored 16 touchdowns this season. He's also got 387 yards receiving, and he's caught seven touchdowns. Wide receiver Isaiah Manchester has 601 yards receiving and six touchdowns. And the Hawks have a couple of big offensive linemen in Miguel Carizales and Pharrell Da Silva Souza. So watch those guys tonight. This offense puts up a lot of points. On the defensive side, Elijah Walton leads the Hawks. He's got 70 tackles, 42 of those being solo tackles, to go along with three sacks and two interceptions. Tremaine Butler has 55 tackles, and he leads the team with four sacks. Harlan's defense has done a fabulous job against the run all season, only giving up 101 yards per game. But T.J. Andrews is going to test them tonight. The Hawks can put a ton of points on the board, but they need their defense to give them as many opportunities as possible to put the offense back on the field. If they win this game, they will be the number one seed in D2, which will give them a home game next week to open up playoffs. Sean, this is going to be a fun matchup. Oh, yeah. They are playing for the outright second spot in 29-6A. And it seems like, for me, looking at this, the message is different from Ricky State of the Taft Raiders to Eddie Salas. I'm going to say what Eddie Salas is telling his team, finish strong. You're oh, yeah. on a hot streak right now. If you're Ricky State, you're telling your team, short memory. Let's put yeah. that J game behind you. We got this week, and we got the playoffs coming up. Is that a fair assessment? Absolutely. I think you're spot on with that. And, and either way, both of these teams are going to the playoffs. Yeah. So that's a given. What they have to do is you have to go into the playoffs with a little momentum. If this is a one-two point game, 
that's not a bad thing going to the playoffs. But if this is a blowout, you're going to go in those playoffs with a flat tire, and you can't do that. It doesn't matter who you play. Although these San Antonio teams typically go south and play a team in the Raider or a team in the Valley yeah. to start the playoffs, it doesn't matter because some of those teams last year came up and popped some of these guys in the mouth, and they weren't expected. Taft was one of them. They lost to a Laredo team in the first round of the playoffs last year. I would think winning this football game would be a little more important to the Taft Raiders because oh, yeah. you don't want to go into the playoffs with two consecutive losses. I wanted to ask you, it's, you know, it, it, we're talking about either fantastic senior quarterbacks or fantastic sophomore quarterbacks. We've got two great junior quarterbacks yeah. right now that are playing. Junior Ronnie, uh, Johnny Lott from the Taft Raiders and junior uh, Noah Ferris, who was our John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week a few weeks ago. Two very underrated junior quarterbacks, just quarterbacks here in San Antonio. Yeah, and there's a couple of guys that do things a little bit different. You know, you mentioned uh, Johnny Lott. He's a guy that moves around a lot, always just moving around the pocket, doing things. Noah Ferris, not. He's more of a stabilized guy. He sits back there, looks for his receivers, and throws it. But you also are talking about a team that prefers to run the ball in the Taft Raiders versus a team in the Harlan Hawks that they want to pass the ball a little bit too. So it's two different dynamics, two different quarterbacks. This is going to be a big test for both of these teams tonight, but I'm with you. And, you know, you talk about going to the playoffs. Taft's going to go Division One because they are the bigger school based on enrollment. So they're going to be the number two seed in Division <laughs> One. But Harlan needs to win this game, so they'll be the number one seed in Division yeah. Two going to the playoffs because you got to remember that Warren's still out there as well because they're going to go to the playoffs too. Is there a more fun running back to watch than T.J. Andrews? He is, I don't know. He is dynamic in greater San Diego. There's some good backs. Yep throughout, you know, uh, South Texas. But T.J. Andrews is just fun to watch. And he's a big dude. Yeah. I mean, I brought up he's 6'2", 200 pounds. We saw him out here behind us working out earlier. Shane came up behind me, and he's like, that's got to be T.J. Andrews. And you can just tell he is built like an NFL player. I know that he needs to work on his speed a little bit more. But you look at him, he doesn't look fast. But it's because his strides are a mile long. Yeah. Every time he takes a stride, he's taking, he's, you know, running three, four yards. So just a really good really good running back why are we not talking more about jacob gonzalez 1200 yep. yards rushing yeah. almost 400 yards passing 16, 16 TDs touchdowns and seven tds so if i do my math right what's that 24 touchdowns is that right no 24 yeah yeah 24 touchdowns 23 total. 23 touchdowns total yeah and you look at it he's got over 1500 yards of offense he Pretty good. is i mean why are we not talking more about gonzalez yep absolutely all right, folks, it is time to make our final predictions of the season. Sean? I'm going to go quick. I got Harlan winning this one high scoring, 42-35. All right, I got to see what colored sock I'm wearing to see who's going to win this football game. Oh, how about the Taft Raiders are going to win this one, 35-28, to to head to the playoffs with a victory. Folks, that's going to wrap up the last Pick and pull South Texas High School football game day of the season. Don't go anywhere. Bobby Stotzenberger, Andy Skelton, and myself with the call. It is Harlan and Taft coming up right here on Me TV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. If you don't mean it, it's just words. Well, integrity is basically loyalty to be good when no one is watching, so you should do it because you know it's right. Twenty twenty three San Antonio Gunslinger season tickets are now on sale. Let's go, Gunslingers. Let's go, baby. Reserve your tickets for the original professional football team in San Antonio, the Gunslingers. It's fast-paced, high-flying, over-the-wall professional football. Plus, non-stop entertainment, affordable family fun is what the San Antonio Gunslingers are all about. To get the best seats and prices, reserve your 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers season tickets now.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the final regular season contest and weekend of the season here in 2022 as we have the Taft Raiders taking on the Harlan Hawks here on the High School Football Showcase. It's 29-6A action as we welcome you aboard our broadcast here on MeTV. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton. And, uh, Andy, tonight uh, it's pretty clear cut what happens with the winner. The winner, the, Both teams have identical records. The winner finishes as the second-place team, and for Harlan, that could mean a home playoff game next week. Well, you got Harlan coming off of a bye week. you got Taft coming off, off of an upset win against John J. Mustangs, Gary Gutierrez. they got to let that go. So, again, second place on the line here, which has a lot to do with the playoff seating, who plays where, who plays whom. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot to play for here tonight, absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the standings. As we mentioned, the team's identical record, 7-2 and two and 5-2 and two in district play. They both beat Warren, so there's no worry about dropping uh, to that fourth-place spot along with the Warriors. So, uh, really, for Harlan, they want to keep this uh, winning streak going. They've won five straight, Taft. They're trying to bounce back off that loss from a right. week ago. So, for the... Uh, for the uh, uh, Raiders, they just want to get back in the winning column. Well, that's what great football teams too, Bobby. You know, the, both these teams are playoff bound, and that's the positive. You want to come out of your healthy. Uh, you will both want to have momentum coming out of this thing. So if anything, Taft wants to get back on the winning track going into the playoffs next week. Uh, again, everything's set in terms of who's Division One, Division Two, uh, But again, it's going to have a lot to do with where they end up in terms of the second-place team in the district and, and where they go. They, they will play a Valley team down south, uh, Del Rio, Loretta United. Yep. Somebody like that's going to come next for these two teams. But they want to be ready, they want to be healthy, and they want to have a win behind their belt tonight. Yeah, it is a bit of a scramble in the, that other district. Let's take a look at tonight's impact players as we start with the Taft Raiders. Yeah, Johnny Lott, d uh, definite dual-threat quarterback, 697, passing the ball for something throwing the ball, uh, uh, running the football here. Here we see him run the ball. They run a little quarterback lead with them all night tonight. Uh, and, again, he's a, a one-two punch. That's, we're going to see a lot of him. We're going to see a lot of number one tonight. And we're going to see this next guy here, uh, number zero, T.J. Yeah. Andrews, that's got 1,260 yards leading the district rushing. But lot definitely, uh, you know, nine touchdowns, throwing the ball, seven running the ball. But he likes to throw a couple different receivers, Aleman, and, and a couple guys like that. So he's got a lot of weapons beside him here, but it comes down to this uh, cat right here, T.J. Andrews. Yeah, he is a San Antonio All-Star. So He is a dude. Now, as you mentioned, uh, with Lott, they, they are a lot better when he's in the lineup, and he's missed a lot of the season. But this young man here has been awesome from start to finish so far uh, this season. Yeah, if they can get their one-two punch and get them both healthy and get them in there, they're a pretty lethal offense. Ricky State's got these guys playing well. Yeah, we in fact, uh, T.J. Andrews is one of two uh, of the leading rushers in the district. And both of them are playing in this game tonight <laughs> as we uh, yep. we will go here in just a moment now to the Harlan Hawks and their impact players. And, yeah, Noah Farish is uh, complimenting their running game, which is a good game, and he's gotten better and better as the year's gone Well, both on. our impact players tonight, Bobby, both of them on offense is going to be the quarterback and the running back right here. And Farish is a junior. And, uh, uh, again, it's one of those deals, throwing the football, you know, he gets it on, on spot. He's going to be, again, secondary's going to have their hands full tonight for the Tav Raiders indeed. He has been our John Wayne Service Company uh, player of the game a number of times. He's also been our John Wayne Service Company player of the week, and he's gotten better and better. So keep an eye on number 10 tonight for the uh, Harlan Hawks. He is a big part of what they do. And on defense, uh, unfortunately, we want to at least give this young man some credit. Right now, he's not listed in the 2D. Yeah, we didn't see him in the 2D. I don't know if he got injured or, or what's happening with that. But again, let's give him his due diligence. He got 70 tackles this season, Bobby, and that's that's insane for a linebacker to come up and, and make plays like that and again hopefully he'll be all right come playoff time and be back in their lineup but again elijah walton real deal at linebacker yeah we don't know if he will play or not tonight but we do know he's not in the uh, too deep lineup those are tonight's impact players we invite you to stick around here at uh, ferris stadium we'll be back with our keys to victory in just a moment taft versus harlan it's the high school football showcase presented by john wayne service company on me tv It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. Come on, three, one, two, three. 
I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The BTC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Wednesday, hold on to this one. 85 yards. We have the games. We have the technology. And it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app. Experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. All right, we are back at Fair Stadium in time for our national anthem. Our national anthem, Gabe Farias, with the Taft Raiders' keys to victory. Yeah, guys, I've got to have a short memory after last week's loss to the John Jay Mustangs. Lots and lots and lots of T.J. Andrews tonight, and they got to pressure Harlan quarterback Noah Ferris into making some mistakes, guys. All right, the Harlan Hawks' keys to victory. Well, big game tonight for quarterback Ferris and uh, running back Gonzalez, one-two punch. Uh, and, again, finish the season strong. And don't allow Taft to control the tempo of the ball game. You're coming off of a, a, a bye week. Uh, you're healthy now, so let's go out here and let's finish this thing the right way and head to the playoffs. All right, the kickoff just around the corner. This is High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. North Park Lexus of San Antonio and North Park Lexus of Dominion have over 350 used cars in stock, plus over 100 L-certified vehicles available. Each L-certified vehicle receives a comprehensive 161-point inspection and is backed with an industry-best unlimited mileage warranty, roadside assistance, and two years of complimentary maintenance. Visit either North Park Lexus location to select one. For your high school student or graduate, North Park Lexus, proud supporters of high school athletics. Northside ISD, we help our children succeed, from encouraging them to love reading and conquer math and science problems, to safely transporting them to school and providing them with delicious meals. We surround them with people like you, caring adults who bring their talents, knowledge, and passion to Northside who want kids to succeed. Explore opportunity in Northside. 
the BGC app. KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Hold on to this one. 85 yards. We have the games. We have the technology. And it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app. Experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Welcome back to uh, Ferris Stadium. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton and Gabe Fadias. 79 degrees, partly cloudy skies. We do have rain in the forecast tomorrow. Some of the games that were scheduled for Friday moved up because of that. Got to be careful here with Taft. They will surprise you some sometimes as uh, Jose Solis faked the onside. Now he'll back it up. And the Hawks will receive. Taft won the toss but deferred as we are underway on this Thursday night at Ferris Stadium as the ball goes out of bounds. And that will be a penalty against the uh, Raiders, which will allow the uh, Taft Raiders to start first and 10 at the 30, I believe, Andy. That's the 25 plus the 5. Yes. As the uh, Hawks will come onto the field for the first time tonight offensively. We mentioned uh, their quarterback. And uh, what a great season this young man's having. Noah Farish, Jacob Gonzalez is the leading rusher in the district. Matthews, the H-back, Deucing, Manchester, McClure, the receivers. Carrizales, Manfold, T. Arena, Acevedo, and De Silva Suse, the offensive line for the Harlan Hawks. Ready to go. Jacob Gonzalez actually statistically second in the district behind T.J. Andrews of Taft by about 13 yards. Okay, Bobby. I, so I, I knew it was close. They're both leading rushers of this district. You can go ahead and call it that. We're going to see a lot of fireworks out of both of them today. And part of the reason Taft lost last week against Jay is they had a very difficult time stopping the Mustangs running game. So that could bode well for the Harlan Hawks as they will throw it to Jacob Gonzalez out of the backfield. But he is uh, covered well and will lose a yard as we Take a look at the Raiders defensively. They got their hands full tonight with Jacob Gonzalez and company as uh, Fogel Akunde Virial up front. Gomez Cruz Martinez, the linebackers, Barber Aguirre, Castro Cotter, and uh, Garcia make up the secondary for the Taft Raiders. Raiders looking to bounce back after a surprising loss last week to a, a very feisty Jay Mustang team. Second and 11. They'll go. To Jacob Gonzalez on the ground, but the Raiders, maybe they're a little upset. Skelly, what, what happened last week uh, defending the run? They've defended it pretty well here. You think a little bit? Things started. Victor Okanade coming up on the tackle right there. Third down and 10 right off the bat here. Big third down early in the ballgame for the Harlan Hawks. Third down and 10. One minute into this contest at Ferris Stadium. Passing down for uh, Noah Ferris. Yep. Ferris and Ferris. Third down and 10. Sweep. Jet sweep. And they're going to turn the corner and pick up the first down as they hand it off to Peyton Matthews. He had the speed to get the edge. It's a gain of 15 and a Raider, excuse me, a Hawk first down. Yeah, great speed getting the edge right here. Matthews comes in with 16 carries for 82 yards. And three touchdowns here as we see him get the edge right there and steps out of bounds just enough for the first down there for the Harlem Hawks. First down, Hawks initial first down of the game at the 43-yard line. Noah Farish. Back to pass and will throw a crossing route that's caught at the 45-yard line and near a first down and now stretching for the uh, first down is Cameron Windsor. And that will be a Hawk first down, their second of the game. Yeah, Noah Ferris comes in with 2,143 yards passing, 21 touchdowns with seven interceptions, and he just hits underneath. Great job hitting Cameron Windsor. That cleared all the routes out down the field and hit him underneath for first down. Again, uh, it's been uh, uh, fun to watch Ferris improve as a quarterback as he goes to Jacob Gonzalez. We knew he was a factor all season, but a gain of just one there for Jacob. Well, and they're going to be keen on him all night long, too, because, like I said, you know, he's got 
1,200 and some change, rushing the ball. And we're, he'll going to get loose for the night's over. Watch what I tell you, but great job wrangling him up at that time. Uh, one of the first contacts was Caleb Fogel, number nine. Comes in as the leading tackler for the Taft Raiders. Four sacks, eight tackle for losses. He's only a junior. Uh, a lot of young guys on this defense for Ricky Stade, Gabe. And I'll tell you what, his uh, his future looks bright for next year. Yeah, it absolutely does. And, you know, we talked about in game day that, uh, you know, and he was a key to victory. Taft has got to have a short memory, man, eh? They, they don't want to enter the playoffs, guys, with two consecutive losses. And, uh, you know, first couple of good plays defensively. And, you know, if you look at the schedule of both of these teams, it's so eerily similar. Solid all year long with that one kind of head-scratching district loss. Right, little hiccup. First and 15, back to midfield they go. Ferris. Thanks to Gonzalez, drops back. Fires it across the middle deep and incomplete, overthrowing uh, Isaiah Manchester. A little high. Yeah, Manchester, I'll tell you what, comes into the game. and He's one of the one of the top. Uh, matter of fact, he is the leading receiver with 600 yards, six touchdowns coming in, and they're going to find a way to get him the football tonight, too, I promise. They have about five receivers that share the load from Noah Ferris. A little bit overthrown right there. Yeah, he, he, and he's a guy that distributes the football well. We, we don't talk a lot about about these junior quarterbacks. There's a couple of them here tonight, Lott and Noah Ferris, who just run that offense very well. Jacob Gonzalez starts up the middle and bounces it outside. There's the speed. Cuts it back, stops on the dime, yeah, and picks up a first down with a gain of 17 yards. He's a dude, man, I tell you. I like the way he moves, he stops. He's got great body control, and again, it's only a matter of time. And I'm not letting him get up inside. He'll go, he'll make a step, get jiggy with it, come out the back door, whatever he needs to do, go through the kitchen window, Gabe, he finds a way. Is that your favorite Will Smith song, getting jiggy with it? Sure. <laughs> Actually, Party Starter, that's my favorite. Mine is Summertime. Oh. <laughs> Harlan winners of five straight. They had a rough patch at the beginning of district play, but of course they had some really good teams there, plus an upset loss to uh, O'Connor along the way as Ferris is about to try to pass, and he will. He'll fire it as a man open and is caught. Inside the 10 yard line and knocked out of bounds. Legal man with down the first field, down. I think. Got a flag on the play. Mikey Deucing, if it counts, has a great catch, but I think you're right, Gabe. It, it, it took a long time to develop here, and they thought Ferris would take off. Well, it was one of those deals. I mean, he had to evade because Caleb Fogel was speed rushing on the outside. He did a good job extending the play, but his lineman snuck downfield a little bit here. That's a lonely feeling, Gabe, if you're an offensive lineman when you're down there. Well, that was a, I got news for you, brother. There was a couple of them <laughs> that were down there. And again, you, you know, when you got a guy like Noah Ferris who, who can tuck it up and go, it's hard to just stay in place yeah. and be disciplined. It's tough when they start scrambling, no doubt. And again, I think Ferris did a good job trying to evade the rush that time. And brings up another first down and 15 here. Caleb Fogel, as you mentioned, he's a good one, too, for that defense. 44 tackles, four sacks this season for Taft. Gonzalez sprints through, hits the outside, yep. turn, high steps it, then goes back to the sideline. Nobody gets a clean shot on him, and Jacob Gonzalez has yet another first down. Yeah, you know, it's kind of one of them deals. That he's got the moves, he's got the strength, he's got the, the center of gravity here. We see him, he changes directions on a dime, man, and it's, it's one of those deals. He's not real big, but he ain't got to be. Uh, yeah, that speed and uh, vision and the ability to start and stop is, is just amazing when you watch number seven, Jacob Gonzalez, play. As uh, Harlan's moved in to scoring position here now at the 13. Noah Ferris with Gonzalez off to his right, looks to his right to throw, now scrambles away, and then fires it high and incomplete. Had a man open there for a step as he uh, was trying to find Cameron Windsor again. Well, I'll tell you what, Harlan possession. the one that, down, that threw that play off the Rangers, for the Harlan Hawks was the defensive end for Taft. We've said his name already three, four times tonight. Caleb Fogel comes in there, and Gonzalez actually had to cut him, and that's what forced Ferris to have to roll out and, you know, kind of discombob the play. Here we go. Ferris is out at receiver now. we got Wildcat here with Gonzalez. 
and Gonzalez hands the ball off out of the Wildcat, and it will be a touchdown for Peyton Matthews. Everybody's thinking he's going to pull and run, and Stanley gives it to Peyton Matthews for an easy touchdown. Yeah, that's one of those deals. You might be asking yourself, why not just leave your quarterback in there and do the same, same thing? And why do you give it to seven, man? Because it adds a different dynamic to what the defense is thinking here. Good cut, getting up inside. I guess he was a little elusive here. A couple missed tackles, too, by the Raiders. Well, I think they were kind of frozen thinking about yeah. the possibility of Jacob Gonzalez running the ball there. The extra point is added on, and the uh, Harlan Hawks take an early 7-0 lead. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. You've got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright injury lawyers. Hawks good off to a good start here tonight at Ferris Stadium. Nine plays, 70 yards, 406 off the clock, and Peyton Matthews with a 13-yard run while Jacob Gonzalez was playing Wildcat quarterback. So Taft will get their first chance here in just a moment. As uh, Dominic Pena, who just booted the extra point, will kick off as he approaches from three yards. Kicks it high but short and is caught on the run at the 25-yard line. Very dangerous, and on the move is Blanco. Xavier Blanco across the 40, and he takes it all the way out to the 44-yard line. Will Taft will get their first possession of the night, trailing 7 to nothing. Raiders will start Johnny Lott, our impact player. T.J. Andrews, also big-time impact player. Erwitz, the fullback. Finister and Alam on the uh, receivers. Porter, the tight end. Hart, Campos, Reyes, Jacobs, and Guerrero, the offensive line. They like to formation you into uh, having an advantage on one side or the other. Yeah, they're going to find numbers one way or the other. They're going to move bodies around. They're going to shift. They're going to pull people. So playing the number game indeed. First down from the 44-yard line. Lot. Just a straight lead there for Andrews as he uh, pushes it out to about the 40 Seven and a gain of three. Hawks defense has got their hands full with him. We know that. Britton McCray, Teeler up front, Carrillo, Butler, Galacio, and Aguirre, the linebackers, Hernandez, Bean, Allen, and Rivas in the secondary for the Hawks. It's second down and seven now as Lott will give it off to Andrews. Trying to get to the edge and it's get cut off. Ball. Ball came loose, but they said he was down. And tell you what, the corner really came up and filled there to turn in Andrews in a minimal game. You know, 45 TJ Butler was first contact right here. They ran counter. Looked like a run quarterback counter to the to our right looking at it here. Instead, they let him come out the back door. And great job by 45 coming up in there. He was down. Well, we have a um, player shaken up a bit on the uh, previous play as the uh, Taft Raiders are going to face a third down and five. And that's 45, the kid that made the tackle, the first contact, T.J. Butler. They told him to lay back down. They're going to help him up, though, pretty quickly. I think maybe, you know, you, you had a defender coming from the outside on that play. Let's go back to that one more time. Got the wind knocked yeah, out I couldn't see who the uh, corner was on that end, but I'll tell you what. Butler what had him low, and then the hit came from the outside. Watch 45 right here. He's in the middle of your screen. Watch outside to your left on the screen right there. Boom. Yeah, he was underneath. The other guy went on the top. And it looks like he's going to be okay. But 
when you're going hard one direction and you get a surprise uh, body come flying in there that you're not expecting, I mean, his eyes are focused entirely Great job on I mean, uh, T.J. Andrews. Hey, throwing, oh, yeah, hello. And there's then all lunch. of a sudden there's other bodies coming in there, and it's, where got, do those come from? He got hit in his gut, absolutely. He's going to go over there and sip on some water. He's going to be all right. He'll be back in there. That's football, baby. Got to love it, man. Great effort, great tackle. Part of the game right there, man. That would be the one part of the game I wouldn't like is getting hit in the guts. If you've never if you've never lost body fluids playing the game, you didn't play it right, Gabriel. <laughs> I lost plenty of body fluids right. playing football. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, it's been two T.J. Andrews runs so far, and now it's third down and five for the Raiders. Lot will roll left. He'll fire on the run, has a man wide open. Had he not fell down, it could have been a bigger play, but it is a first down for Devon Irwitz and the Raiders. And that again, that's tough when you bootleg out coming to his, his left over here. There was nobody. They did not roll the secondary. Let me see here. They, linebacker kind of misread that right there. Should have been a linebacker and underneath coverage on that probably. But good thing he fell down or he'd have a lot more yardage. Clay Porter is now the pistol back. And they're going to give him the ball. He follows Andrews, who's actually a really good blocker, too. And it's a gain of three. Well, when you got a guy that's the size of T.J. Andrews, you can do a lot of things with a cat like that. Put him at fullback, put him at defensive end, put him at tight end, put him at offensive lineman, give him the ball. Yeah, we, we talked about both Andrews and, and Jacob Gonzalez, two tremendous running backs, Andy, but different styles, to say the very least. No doubt. Second down and seven. Again, that was Clay Porter, who he's used everywhere. He's a tight end, an H-back. He carried the ball there, and now it's second down and seven for the Raiders. He'll carry it again on the jet sweep. Porter around the edge, gets the edge, and gets the first down to the 21 of Harlan. Well, they have him listed as a tight end, but we know the, the old school tight ends are few and far between. He's more of a H-back utility guy right here, and why not? He is. Also a San Antonio All-Star. Him and T.J. Andrews both are SA All-Stars this year. So that, that is not a tight end running the football, Andy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just that saying, is, man. That's an athlete. I like the way they use him, though. They, he lines up just about anywhere. Back to Andrews. Andrews, first down and more. Runs one man over. A second he tries to. Right. And the strength and power of T.J. Andrews is all the way to the seven. Well, we said Clay Porter not a tight end. I was going to say on this play, up, he's a tight right. end. We watched the replay right here. Watch him block the edge and tell me he's not a tight end coming just, right there. Waka. Right after the I linebacker. said it, I gave myself a hole, I think. <laughs> Great at job blocking. First and goal at the seven. Andrews this time blown up. Well, we've already got early candidates, guys. We've mentioned some names, but we'll have the John Wayne player of the game at the end of the contest. You can vote for him during the broadcast all the way up until triple zeros at the end of the game. And if you make the same selection as Andy and Gabe and I, as uh, it, you will win two tickets to watch the San Antonio Gunslingers Arena League football beginning in April. Second down and goal, a loss of one on that last play. Lot has uh, Matthews as he will hand the ball off going left with it. This Porter, I mean, not Matthews, Clay Porter. They tried him again, third carry this uh, drive and a gain of just one. Tackle made by Yair, Galacia number 31, comes flying in there and again, Porter does a great job getting what he can get after contact right here. Third down. Harlan has stiffened up here once it became first and goal. Throwing down here perhaps for Johnny Lott. Overload the formation to the left. And they moved early, and they're going to whistle this one dead. Yep, tackle. And they had a run design there on third and goal, and now probably a passing situation coming up. False start. Offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty, third down. Is that uh, Tyson Hart? Yeah, one of the things up front. Yeah, he's left yeah. tackle right there. Just need to settle in a little bit. I don't like calling linemen out when they jump necessarily because they always get the bad news. They never get any pub that's positive. So we're going to try to stay positive with the bigs if we can. Wow. You've had your Skittles early today, I'm haven't you? You're I'm in good. a good mood. I'm not going to criticize the bigs quite yet. <laughs> Third and goal now back at the uh, 12. 
Lott's going to throw. Here comes a late rush. He throws one up, and it's too far to the back of the end zone. Oh, man, and then we... K.J. Allen slipped once he got crossed from that turf to the track, but he sat down for a minute, but he's okay. Yeah, that's always scary. They got those hard cleats on when they hit that. Right over there by our cameraman on the uh, platform, and now it's a field goal attempt coming up. A 29-yard uh, attempt from the middle of the field. Angel Gonzalez Lopez gets plenty of leg into this one, and his kick is good. And that makes it Harlan 7, Taft 3. 324 to go first quarter. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on Me TV. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. Central Builders is an award-winning general contractor headquartered in San Antonio. Their construction projects include large-scale remodels, expansions, and ground-up construction. Their comprehensive service offerings, along with dedication to quality workmanship, make them one of the top contractors in the city. Central Builders is a proud sponsor of Texas Sports Productions. Call Central Builders at their San Antonio office at 210-590-0235 or visit them online at centralbuilders.net. Both teams score on their opening. Jose Solis will pull up, though, there, and now the ball falls off the tee. Let's look at that re scoring recap, if we could, as the uh, Raiders score on their first possession as well. They go nine plays and 44 yards, taking four minutes and 30 seconds off the clock. And it was a 30-yard uh, field goal by Angel Gonzalez Lopez. Short kick. Caught at the 29. Sideline right and a nice spin move, but dropped right after the spin as Isaiah Manchester. But still, good field position here for the Hawks, leading 7-3. Yeah, they're not kicking it deep. That You know, again, this kickoff unit for the Taft Raiders, we've seen it all year. They, they do, every time they break that huddle, they fake the onside. Sometimes they kick it, sometimes they pooch it. And they're willing to concede some field position to, instead of giving up a big return from the Harlan Hawks here. First down at the 38, second possession for Harlan. Ferris, quarterback. Well, hand to Gonzalez. Ahead to the 41. You know, so far, Taft's been real stingy, Gabe, on first downs. They've having a hard time winning on first downs so far tonight. Yeah, but Harlan's doing a pretty good job on third downs, though. Yeah, that's that's the that's the kicker. Yeah. If the Longs ain't keep doing that, statistically, that's not uh, probable. From the uh, 40, they spot him. A little shorter than I thought as Gonzalez trying to bounce it outside, but that tackle. is a nice tackle on the edge by the Taft Raiders. Zach Zuda. Suda. Yeah, Suda, great job coming in from his safety position right here on the edge. And again, all it takes is one little hiccup step by Gonzalez, and he's outside of that. But great job by Suda to wrangle him up. And yeah, Suda uh, missed the game last week. Taft coaches said they really missed his presence back there as a safety. And, and he's not on our two deep yeah, either. Yeah, but he started. <laughs> he's out there tonight. I love coaches. And he makes a great tackle, too, yep. on one of the best backs in the city. Third and seven. Ferris swings it out to uh, Gonzalez. Okay. He'll do the rest. Man, just, just pure speed there as he... He saw where he needed to go, and he sprinted right to that spot and picks up a Hawk first down. Yeah, he is so elusive. When he get, you get him one-on-one -on -one in the open field, it doesn't look like he's moving like that. Then he flies right by you, and you have to end up getting a hand on him, and he's gone. But great job finding the first down marker. 
Like you said, Gabe, third down, they're doing well so far. Yeah, and Andy, you, you put it so simplistically. Get your athletes in space, get them the football, let them make a play. Down to two minutes to go here in the first quarter, 7-3. Gonzalez motions out of the backfield. Ferris gonna throw to the near side. It is caught by Peyton Matthews, a little shake and bake, and then a little pick and pull collision Hello. to finish that as uh, Victor Oconde, uh, Ocon Oconati lays the wood. Yeah, great job. You saw that coming when uh, Man Manchester changed directions and started headed back in the direction of the big guys, and here comes 46, and a little bit of Waka kissed him right on the mouth, sat him down. <laughs> Did you say a little pick and pull collision? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't a know if that was a little one. It's set, it was, I mean, it was just beautiful. There you see the uh, Hawks fans excited about the game tonight. You better be in class tomorrow morning, though, kiddos. Right. Those Thursday night football <laughs> games. You too, Gabe. You better be in class Absolutely. tomorrow, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Second and eight. Ferris, quarterback draw wide open in the middle. And he slides inside the 40-yard line with a Hawk first down. Yeah, Ferris didn't have a lot of rushing yards. He only got 62 yards and a touchdown. But when you put that much green in front of a guy like this, pulling it down and smartly getting down, getting out of harm's way right there at the end of it. I, I'm okay with that slide. And, you know, you and I are both not fans of that, but I think that was an appropriate slide for Ferris. Yeah, it's just that's an iffy thing in high school football. The kids aren't used to seeing it, and they get planted, and people get hurt. But, yeah, he got down and got out of the way. At the 39-yard line, Gonzalez. Oh, oh, hello. Gets bounced backwards. He's always so light-footed. If you get a clean shot on him, which doesn't happen and very often, you ben can Martinez. knock him off his feet. Yeah, Ben Martinez has something to say about that right there. And again, now we're in second and long situation here. It might be the last play of the first quarter, guys. A quarter that's flown by. Yeah, Eddie Salas uh, not really in a hurry here. They're going to let this one run down. So both teams score on their first possession. Taft, a field goal, and Harlan, a touchdown. The Hawks will resume play on offense when we continue with the second quarter on the High School Football Showcase, presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Don Rackler here. Don't miss out on end-of-the-year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Zakari Franklin. On the football field, my job is to do whatever it takes to win. Coach taught us we win the game with the right plan and teamwork. Your future is not a game. After a serious injury from a car truck wreck, how things turn out depends on having the right plan. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Get a fierce, experienced team of lawyers who do what it takes to win. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Don't wait. Call 8. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. A really quick first quarter. Now the second possession for Harlan continues in the second quarter. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton and Gabe Puddyus discussing Halloween candy. And costumes. <laughs> During the commercial break, Ferris back to pass and rolling right. Looking and firing along the sidelines, and it is caught for a first down by Manchester. Good so ball. He got in before he bounced out right there. Yeah, that ball again. That, that route right there, we say it time and time again. When the ball, watch Ferris right here. He puts that ball on target and on time, and that, that is almost impossible to cover. And, yeah, he got three feet in and stepped out right there at the end of that. Harlan, uh, a little quick quick up to the line as they get it to Deucing, and he has nowhere to go because Edward Cotter, welcome back, Cotter. Yep. Loss of two. Yeah, he got blowed up right there at the end of that. Great job getting off the block. The guy was trying to block him and tackle for loss. Again, second down and long again, but they've been converting. Gabe, you think anybody under the age of 40 re recognizes that reference? I Welcome was, back, Kata. I was going to say, I'll tell you this, that was John Travolta's start in entertainment, right? Vinny Barbarino. Pre-Grease, pre-Urban uh, yep. pre Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, as a matter of fact, I dressed up like the dude from Urban Cowboy for Halloween this year. Which dude? Yeah. Second yes, and 12. <laughs> Sweet. Matthews, jet sweep, makes a nice cut at the 25, gets to the sidelines, 
What speed there. Peyton Matthews. Tell you what, he had a 13-yard touchdown run. You can see why they're utilizing him not just as a receiver, but as a runner. A lot of unselfish stuff going on on the outside right here, too. Number seven, Jacob Gonzalez. Number 11, Isaiah Manchester right here. You'll see him leading up in there, doing their job. And Deucing was out there, too, number zero. Very unselfish football so far by the Hawks. It is first and goal at the 10-yard line. Jacob Gonzalez, Wildcat, and keeping it this time, and he fights his way down to the three-yard line, and he's finally brought down by Matthew Cruz, but the Hawks' drives continues to look Injury impressive. Time out. The same Wildcat Injury that we saw, out. except this time he opted to pull it and bring it right down Main Street, as you like to say, as we got a Taft Raider down here, Bobby. Folks, we have a lot for you here on BGC this weekend. It's a big schedule of games, and uh, the final weekend you'll be able to watch a, a full slate of games here on BGC. We have a couple of games that moved up, unfortunately, uh, because of a, a late edition of a, a few Thursdays getting moved. We we had to drop off the uh, Wagner and, uh, and Vets games uh, tonight, but uh, Judson New Braunfels was originally scheduled for Friday, and uh, that game being played tonight, you see the full schedule right there on BGC tomorrow night as well. I'll get to see St. Pius in Central Catholic tomorrow, and then we'll finish it off with a couple of afternoon games on Saturday, including the Tommy Bowl with uh, Jefferson and Edison. Second and goal, and Jacob Gonzalez had nowhere to go that and time. Martinez, 21, coming in there, spying him all the way and hit him before he even got his feet in the ground to accelerate. Harlan's got a jumbo package in right now, so everybody's in the box. So Tav's got to have everybody within five to seven yards of line of scrimmage tackle to tackle right here, and that's a lot of bodies. Look at all those bodies in here, and great job by Martinez going from cloudy to clear and finding the football. So if our history of this football game remains consistent, they're going to score a touchdown here on third down. On third down. Conversion. Third down. Just inside the five, Ferris has a man wide open, and they swing it out yeah, to it, Matthews, who has his second touchdown. Flag down. They're going to call a pick right here. I was wondering. Now, if you're an offensive coach, we don't call that a pick. We call it a rub. A screen. A <laughs> rub. No, a rub. Rubs are legal. Picks are illegal. And here we see the pick inside by uh, Manchester there. And the referee over there side just said, yeah, nice try. And that's what they're going to call. Watch. And as it turns out, Andy, I, I think had he just stopped, he I, or look for the football, typically, you yeah. know, it, not look like he's going to bless it, See if they call it here. Look like a pick from here. Pass interference. <laughs> Offense. Number 11. 15-yard so penalty. I think, Rob, I, I think of putting something on a brisket. Uh, hey, man, it, well, everybody does it. It's not illegal until it's called. Let's watch it right here, okay? Watch watch 11. Stop right, right there. there. Boom, yeah. yeah. They, and if he looks to the football, they probably don't call that. And, again, yeah. every coach that's an offensive coordinator has done that, running crossing routes across the middle. Heck, we even used the umpire to a man coverage to run by and try to pick a guy off while we're running by or make him have to avoid the referee to get is free, that whatever illegal? it takes. That is legal. That is very legal. Now it's third and goal at the 20. Now you see umpires backing up more like this gentleman tonight. He's 10 yards deep. Well, we've got a pretty strong kind of a crosswind coming now. Yeah, that's time out. It's time out. It's their first charge time out of the half. So cold front coming in. Time out on the field. This is the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. If you don't mean it, it's just words. Well, integrity is basically loyalty to be good when no one is watching, so you should do it because you know it's right. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. It's third and goal at the 20 now for the Hawks. Ferris sends Gonzalez in motion, then throws it up the sidelines to him. And 
Even uh, Jacob Gonzalez didn't have the speed to catch up to that one, so it's a field goal attempt coming. Tap was in man coverage that time. You saw the motion. A lot of times, coaches, they run that motion. Why do, you, why do we motion people? Well, you want to gain an advantage, but you also want to see the second day. Number three right here, there you see him, Barber. Did a great job, but he ran all the way across the formation, so you know it's man coverage right there. And he was able to get on top of that route anyways as he came across the field. Well, Eddie Salas is uh, going to contemplate this one, guys. And maybe Still just run the, out. Yeah, run the clock a little bit. Timeout. Harlan, that's their first charge timeout of the half. Well, guys, uh, let's take a look. Well, I'm going to take a look at the ra the radar. It's 76 degrees, but the wind, it says 11. But, Gabe, I think it's a little stronger than that. And it's, it's not a north and south wind. It's kind of a... It's a southeast wind. Yeah, southeast wind, so a kind of a cross wind. That's our normal wind, southeast and north. That's all we get in San Antonio. It's an in-my-face wind. Well, it's going to shift out of the north end a little bit, Gabriel, when that cold front comes in. Is it going to get cold? No, well, cooler. I brought a parka, so I, I'm going to go out and get my big northern jacket. You saw the moon disappear because the clouds are... I don't know. There. What kind of moon was it? It was a Wayne Alexander moon? No, no, no. It's waxing gibbous. See, it's yeah. not blowing oh. southeast, straight southeast. back or straight forward. It's kind of blowing at an angle. Yeah, this feels north and south, so it's coming out of the southeast corner over there by the dive diving complex, swimming, diving... Facility. Which means if you kick the ball, you need to kick it slightly to through, the right because it. Or you kick it through the uprights. Yeah. Well, there's that. The there's middle that. The middle never moves. Well, this is uh, the angle you want, I think. Yeah, kick it. Just kick it right down the middle. The middle never moves. Don't worry about what hash you're on. Domine Pena. Talk too much about uprights. Keep 37 here. yards here. Everybody's standing up right now for Taft, ready to come through. Got the leg. Doink. Doink. Kick it down the middle. No good. Well, but you see, when we talked about the wind, you knew the wind was kind of naturally going to blow it towards that side. I think he listened to Andy, tried to kick it in the middle, and it got kind of a knuckler there, too. You can't talk to kickers. Kickers are a different breed, man. You get in their head, they, they do their own thing. They got superstitions. <laughs> do they call just, it a hey, pick or a rub? Hey, leave them alone. Just leave him alone, kick it. All right, so Taft holds. And now a chance to take the lead here for the Raiders. We're at 934, guys, and this is only the second possession for the Taft Raiders. Lot sends a man in motion. He'll toss it to him. That's and a, he that's, drops a, it. that's a that's a no, no, incomplete, incomplete, pass. Yeah. incomplete pass. That's yeah. Incomplete, yeah. Pass. incomplete yeah. pass. It was Shamir Fenster who <laughs> Drop the ball, and it's an incomplete pass. Yeah, we don't know the rules. That's the right call. Of, that is the exact incomplete right forward he pass. Forward. There you go. He pitched it forward, so therefore it's an incomplete pass. That's an incomplete great, pass. Great description by referee Green right there, man. Know the rules, people, before you yell at him. Hey, did you guys like Jerry Jones' uh, Halloween costume? What was that? He, he was dressed as a blind referee. And the NFL is considering fining him what? for his Halloween costume. Well, what's a 100-year-old doing wearing costume? I don't think he's 100. He's like 94, well, he's dude. He's not five. I mean. Well, yeah, I know he's not five, but he's not 100. <laughs> Second and 10. What's wrong with a 100-year-old wearing a costume? T.J. Andrews pulls his way ahead for a gain of four. Yeah, now Tav trying to get something going on first down right here and again. Excuse me, second down brings up third down and six here. Let's see if they can start converting here a little bit on third down. You know what? I'm okay with 80-year-old Jerry Jones wearing a costume. I I'm good with that. You well, thank you for explaining that to us. Yeah, I don't know yeah, quite I mean, what to say. I'm just, you know, that's kind of my, that is kind of my subtle disagreement with Skelly. So it's third and six now for the Raiders. Look out. And wide it's open. wide open. This is going to be a walk into the end zone. Yes, Lot found his man, and he's all versatility. He's Clay Porter. He runs it. He blocks it. He catches it. Was there anybody there? No. They had busted coverage all the way. They had him out there. It's almost like they snuck him there. Did he come off the sideline? Well, that's illegal. You can't do that. You have to break the huddle, but he was wide open. But Lot took a shot right as he let it go, but 
You couldn't have been any more open than Clay Porter was. Great press box call right there by the Taft Raiders. Raiders take their first lead. And now the extra point. Against that crosswind, and it's good. Taft now with a 10 to 7 lead over Harlan. You're watching the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX.com. Take another look at that touchdown because Skelly figured it out. Yeah, he figured it out as always. That touchdown drive, three plays, 80 yards, 76 yards on the TD pass. From Johnny Lott to Clay Porter. Short kick. No That's man's trouble. land. That's trouble. And Hawks able to fall on it. Go back to the touchdown. All right, right here, we're going to see that uh, there was a cornerback out there, but he bites on the, uh, you watch the outside receiver on the upside right there, the corner bites. That's called bait, B-A-I-T. -B -A they baited him that time. He stepped up wide open. He, he took the bait. Again, great press box call right there by the Taft Raiders. So it's first down at the 36 for the Hawks. Guys, what's the time of possession in this football game? I, I, I'm fairly certain it's all Harlan if they're losing this football game. Well, they had a 527 drive that they scored on, 406 that they missed a field goal. Meanwhile, the Raiders, that last drive took all of 58 seconds. So it's first down, uh, Hawks. Trailing by three. They reset Matthews. Now reset him again. Give it to Jacob Gonzalez. And the Raider defense, they really have played pretty good against the run. There's been a few breaks, I think, by Jacob Gonzalez, but they've stuffed him at the line a number of times, too. Well, it's been tough sledding inside because of the likes of Victor Okanade and then Ben Martinez, the inside guys, where Gonzalez has been having his success. Bobby is getting out around the hash mark and busting it to the outside. And again, that's something that, and then playing the Wildcat, too, I had some success doing that. So they're going to keep fishing and trying to find it. Second down and 11. Ferris rushed. There's a flag and maybe a high tackle or a, either that or a hold. Well, Saint Morales comes in there, number seven, and grabs a hold of him. Did he get the face mask, though? Uh, maybe. The way he got jerked around. Let's watch the replay right here. Great effort on his inside rush. Holding. No, no, That's offense. Not. Number 75. It is yeah. declined. Yeah. Third down. Yeah, I was uh, very reluctant to call that a face mask. He got him up high, but he grabbed the jersey, which right. is... Perfectly legal yeah. and had strong hands to hold on. It looked like that flag came out just a hair before Fair started to get wrangled up. Harlan possession, third down, 17 yards to go at the Hawks, 29. Now third and long. Taft defense has played pretty well here in the last couple of minutes as Ferris is going to try to change that. Throws it out to the uh, right. Glad is caught for Look first out. down. He Look breaks out. a tackle, and Tupac McClure is off to the races as he steps out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Tupac McClure. I'll tell you, man, that, again, this is the same route earlier we talked about. This is a tough route to cover. Great ball by Noah Ferris right here. He steps up, steps into it. 
And again, McClure does the rest after the catch, makes the guy miss and makes him pay. Sweep headed left. And uh, Martinez, Jenkins, uh, excuse me, Jacob Gonzalez tackled by Matthew Cruz. Yeah, I'd tell you, it's tough sledding on first down so far and, for Cruz. And Andy, they, they caught Taft almost on, off guard. They, they have, I don't think they were set yet. Paris play action, rush coming, they got him. Did he throw it to the ground? I don't think they're Let's gonna get him. down. Yep, that's gonna be a sack for Caleb, Caleb Fogel. Fogel. That will be his fifth sack of the season. I'll tell you, this young junior, uh, saw him play the first game of the season. He has grown by leaps and bounds all season long right there. Great job playing off the block. You remember in that game earlier this year against Veterans Memorial, he yes. stood out. That was one of our MeTV broadcasts. Third down and 19 now for the Harlem Hawks. Winners of five straight. Taft, meanwhile, lost last week to the Jay Mustangs. Both teams Five and two in district, seven and two overall. Deep drop, three-man rush, screen, pass that is caught. Deucing, stumbles. Boy, he had some room, and Mikey Deucing had a lot of room to run there, and his legs just kind of collapsed on him. I don't know if he thought he already had the first down or what here, but this is a tunnel screen right here. You see the big boys coming from the inside. Good yeah. job getting in behind them. Yeah, they clipped him just yeah, enough. Just enough to slow him down right there. Fourth down and about six here. So now a 37-yard attempt, this time the left hash for Dominique Pena. Plenty of leg again. This time the kick is good, and that ties it up. Ten apiece. 5.25 to go here in quarter number two. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. North Park Lexus of San Antonio has earned elite of Lexus status for 27 consecutive years. And North Park Lexus of Dominion has earned elite status every year since opening in 2016. Visit either North Park Lexus location this winter and test drive the all-new 2023 Lexus RX with its all-new redesigned sleeker exterior and more powerful stance. Available this winter at either North Park Lexus location. Proud supporters of high school athletics. Don Rackler here. If you've never had five-star service, now's the time to give John Wayne a try. With the fall weather, my techs aren't as busy, so we're having a BOGO sale. Buy any precision tune-up, get one free. That includes a heating, air conditioning, water heater, or electrical panel tune-up. That's right, buy one tune-up, get one for free for only $69. And if my technician didn't provide you with five-star service, I'll give you your money back. Give John Wayne a try today. Call or text at 293-6700 and tell them you want the BOGO deal. Extended drive there by the uh, Harlan Hawks. That time they ran. Uh, there we go. The wrong drive. There, uh, the one before was the longer drive, but this one uh, 44 yards, 235, and the uh, field goal. This time Dominic Pena makes a field goal. The previous drive was 12 plays and 42 yards and a missed field goal. But Pena ties it on that kick, and now he'll kick it off. And he's fielded at the five-yard line. Run the run. And out to the 30. And Porter once again is our tight end. So he's, a, he's a utility guy, man. Yeah, he is. Jack of all trades. Again, that drives six plays and 40. Four yards and a 37-yard field goal. Hey, what, Andy? With with, with uh, 517 left, both of these teams showing the ability to to, to to have long, sustained drives. If if uh, Taft takes his thing, eats up the clock, scores a touchdown, they get the football to start the second half, and they can really put their stamp on this football game. Yeah, and again, explosive explosive plays and play calls from the press box have been impressive so far as well. This time, Lot will keep it. Not much there. A lot of penetration led by number 31 rolling up in there was Yair Galacio. We've said his name once already tonight and flying up in there. 
fact, nothing there. Second and ten. And again, we're in week ten, so these linebackers on both both sides, they're triggering, they're seeing it. You know, these aren't brand new football teams. They have a whole season under their belt, and again, they're trying to get playoff ready. You see it at full speed. And Game 10, week 11 officially. Last week of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had an interesting one last week because one of the teams is still practicing, not knowing whether they'll play again as Andrews takes it ahead to the 30. We, we saw Clark lose to Brandeis last week, and the Cougars had to go ahead and practice this week because they still are in playoff contention, even though they their season and their regular season is over. They still have a shot, but they need help to get into the playoffs. They have to wait till tomorrow night when, or actually I think it's tonight and Lee and Churchill. Third down and five. Lot throwback. It is oh. caught by Andrews. He's Hit really hard and stopped in his tracks by Destin Bean, short of the first down. Bean saw that from the get, and again, number zero requires a lot of attention. They're just running a little throwback screen to Andrews. Are they going for it here? Boom. Fourth Pick and four. two. They hurry up to the line. They didn't use a timeout. Both teams with two timeouts. I can't see them going for it here, guys. Hunting's overrated. Did you say hunting is over? Oh, punting is overrated. Okay. I know the wind is blowing in my ears. I can't really hear that. Well, when it's about 20 degrees, you could probably say that about hunting, or too. Or he's going to call a timeout here. Either way. They tried to hard count them, and now the Taft Raiders will burn a timeout. We'll be back in timeout. a moment. This is the High School Taft. Football Showcase. Presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Twenty twenty three San Antonio Gunslinger season tickets are now on sale. Let's go Gunslingers! Let's go, baby! Reserve your tickets for the original professional football team in San Antonio, the Gunslingers. It's fast paced, high flying, over the wall professional football, plus nonstop entertainment. Affordable family fun is what the San Antonio Gunslingers are all about. To get the best seats and prices, reserve your twenty twenty three San Antonio Gunslingers season tickets now. The BGC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Anyways, they hold on to this one, 85 yards. We have the games, we have the technology, and it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app, experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Raiders have seemingly uh, changed their mind and are going to punt the ball. And Porter, who does everything, is also the punter. Hawks give him a little bit of a rush. He gets it away with no return, man. Not bad against the wind. It's a really good punt from that spot. Is there anything, uh, Gabe, that, that Clay Porter doesn't do? I don't know. You know, when, when Andy, when they line him up back there, he just, you, you got the you got the chance for a fake punt, but he does everything really good. You know, the kid's very athletic. You know, Andy and right when I said, well, this isn't your prototypical tight end, you know, we've seen those kids just go out there and, and just lays one heck of a block to spring, you know, uh, Andrews for a big play. 2.55 to go, and Harlan trying to take the lead here. Let's see if the Taft defense can rise up right here because Taft, again, gets the ball to start the second half. They, if they can stymie me this drive right here. Last drive for the uh, Hawks ended in a 37-yard field goal by Dominic Pena. As they reverse it, and coming left with it is Matthews again. He's had a big night. And another big run for him. He's got a touchdown, in fact, two touchdowns. One, excuse me, one touchdown rushing. Another near touchdown. Yeah, good job right here. Just gets outside, gets past. Uh, Caleb Fogel right there and gets down the sideline. Andy, that's the third different way that they have found to get him the ball as a runner. Yeah, he, you see why, because he can, he can go when he gets into space. 2.24, Hawks have two timeouts. Ferris, 
hands to Gonzalez. Good Gonzalez move. cuts at the 50 and picks up the first down. It's a matter of time with this young man. I promise you, Gabe, he's going to find a way to get free. Good block on the edge right there to seal it off and gets a first down. Andy, how fun is he to watch? You know, you like to watch that kid in the open field. I like to, I like watching him in between the tackles, man. This kid is so elusive. He's just a, he's just a fun back to watch. His ability to slam the brakes and really stop on a dime and cut off of that. I don't know that I could do that in my car. Harris rolls left. Fires to the sideline. That's ball. What a catch. First down for Mike, Mikey Ducey. It's a little 15-yard uh, little comeback route right there. And again, ball's on time and on target. Watch him drag his foot, staying in bounds. Buys himself some time right here, and you're absolutely right. Just catches the ball and gets down, gets out of bounds here. Stops the clock. Minute 37 remaining in the half. First down at the 30-yard line. Ferris. That's a court. No, excuse me. This is a Wildcat. Okay. Jacob Gonzalez. Gain of five for Jacob. Ferris, nine of 12 passing, 79 yards so far. You call that a wild hawk? Yeah, yeah wild hawk. Or is it a wild cat? Wild hawk. Sounds cooler. Gabe, that wind seems to be actually picking up. Oh, yeah, this, this wind is gusting, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going out to grab my parka here in a second, but, you know, with about a minute left, they got to try and figure they got to keep it on that right hash. Harris on second and five will fire one across the middle and low. Yeah, trying to get it to Peyton Matthews again. Well, between... Uh, Mikey Dusing, Tupac McClure, Raiders, Peyton Matthews. There's some good receivers. Also, the tight end, Cameron Windsor. Manche yeah, they got five of them, and including Gonzalez out of the backfield, too. They use him a lot like that. So, And again, Ferris, Gabe, you said it. Noah Ferris does a great job distributing the football to a bunch of bodies. Yeah, we talked about it in the uh, in the pregame between he and, and, and Antonio Mason. This is two of my, best, my favorite quarterbacks in San Antonio. Third and five. Play action. Throwing across the middle, there was some contact. But uh, incomplete, Mikey Deucing, probably uncatchable there. And you got fourth down here. That's going to be, what, 25, 42-yard field goal if they kick it. I think uh, Dominic Pena, guys, has the leg to do this. The wind's at his back. Slightly at an angle. Just aim at that right upright and watch that thing go right down the, right down Main Street, right, Bob? Or a commerce. A market. Houston Street. <laughs> Travis. 42 yards here for Dominic Pena. Hurry up. And. Oh, it hit it and went There's in. another doink, but this is a good <laughs> doink. It hit the crossbar and went over. Two doinks and one bank. That one makes it 13 to 10. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on Me TV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange in real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. And the Hawks have regained the lead. The Hawks with 204 yards of offense now and 13 points as that last drive went 48 yards in six plays in two minutes and 11 seconds. And now uh, Dominic Pena, I guess, guys, if you're you're one for two on doinks, that's not bad, is it? 
Fifty percent. Fifty percent on doinks. Fifty percent doinkage. That's about uh, five hundred in a major league. Yeah. Good. One doink mitten, uh, off the uh, upright that was no good, and then a doink off the crossbar that went through. So yeah, I, I think when whenever it doinks, it usually doesn't doink your way, does it, Gabe? Was that your nickname in college or something? Like, were you doink. named Doink Stotzenberger? <laughs> is is that why you keep saying that word? No, that wasn't his nickname. It was not. No. It was not <laughs> Doink. It was Durr. <laughs> like, what was your nickname in college, Bob? Oh, man. Hey, no, don't avoid the question. This is a hard pressing no. journalistic, journalism, in, inquisitive. Here's here's a question. Sure. Does Taft just uh, keep it on the ground here with one timeout, or do they try to get something going up the field? Yeah, take a shot, man. See if they can get another one of them bait, bait well, deals. And find out where number 18 is at. Clay Porter's had a night as it's going to be Lott keeping it, and he is dropped right near the line of scrimmage. Good tackle there. Probably answers your question. Yeah. yeah Glacio on the tackle again. Good job triggering it up in there. And he kind of went down in a doink, didn't he, Gabriel? It was uh, it was there was definitely some doinkage there. I, <laughs> we have said that word in way too much in this broadcast. Now, this, you know, we've had all the you know the big words that we celebrate ourselves for during yeah. the season. We're gonna go back to simple. And doink is a simple word. Well, there are three guys that could dumb it down. It's certainly <laughs> the three of us, that's for sure. <laughs> That'll do it, folks. It's 13 to 10 at the half. That's the As, end of uh, the first half. Coach Eddie Salas will join Gabe here in just a moment. Good first half of football, guys. Really was. As um, the Hawks will lead 13 to 10. Dominic Pena with a couple of field goals, 37 and 42. As Gabe Farias is with Coach Eddie Salas. Yeah. Coach, games, games in this district are, are always knocked down throughouts. What's going to be your message to your team in the halftime locker room to finish this thing off? Well, you know, offensively, I think we're, we're getting good drives. We're not finishing. We kicked three field goals, and we need to finish those. And then defensively, got a big play on us, and we just blew a coverage. And want to make sure that they understand that got to follow the rules and go through those things, and things will turn out for be all right. So big battle. They're a great football yeah. team, and so it's going to be like this. I'm sure the next two quarters. Yeah. Best luck's that half, Eddie. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, guys. All right, both bands plus the uh, John Wayne Player of the Week coming up during our halftime segment. Harlan 13 and Taft 10. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Central Builders is an award-winning general contractor headquartered in San Antonio. Their construction projects include large-scale remodels, expansions, and ground-up construction. Their comprehensive service offerings, along with dedication to quality workmanship, make them one of the top contractors in the city. Central Builders is a proud sponsor of Texas Sports Productions. Call Central Builders at their San Antonio office at 210-590-0235 or visit them online at centralbuilders.net. Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX.com. Hello, football fans. I'm Taylor Ahrens with TexasHighSchoolFootball.com. From game previews, recaps, live scores, and all the latest news, TexasHighSchoolFootball.com is your home for all things Texas High School football. And to dive even deeper into the huddle, subscribe to the Texas High School Football podcast for interviews with people who make Texas High School football the sport we love. <laughs> It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. Folks, 
we're here at the half. Let's go to the field. The Taft Raider Band and dance team. <laughs> accompanying and uh, we will watch a little bit more of this performance here in just a moment it's 13 to 10 Harlan leading ha uh, Taft at the break let's take a quick take a quick look at the uh, numbers here in the uh, first half as the uh, Raiders get set for the rest of their performance there you see the time of possession being dominated by the Harlan Hawks they have 204 yards to 137 it was really the big 76 yard touchdown pass from Johnny Lott to Clay Por uh, Porter that made up a big chunk of the uh, Taft offense and uh, gave them a lead at the time a couple of uh, made field goals and one missed field goal Harlan has been in scoring position on all four of their possessions they've scored three out of the four including uh, two field goals and a touchdown but uh, a good first half by Harlan. Eddie Salas is right. They've got to be able to fi finish the drives as they uh, had to settle for three field goal attempts. Well, and again, you got at least got some points on the board. You missed one of those field goals, and you had two doinks, like you said. One, <laughs> one good doink and yeah. one bad doink. When you, but, hey, man, as long as you get one of them doinks to go over, you're going to make points. But, yeah, he would rather have touchdowns than field goals, but at least he's getting points on the board there. But, yeah, absolutely finishing. Time of the possession is in their favor because of the explosive play by Taft. Uh, again, the second half is going to be – uh, again, probably what we saw in the first, a lot of what we saw in the first half. All right, let's go back to the field and rejoin the Taft Raider band. High school band, the sights and sounds here at Ferris Stadium. At the break, it's the Harlan Hawks 13, the Taft Raiders 10. After the commercial timeout, we will uh, introduce you to this week's John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV.
the Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. The BGC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Hey, hold on to this one. 85 yards. We have the games, we have the technology, and it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app. Experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Northside Middle Schools prepare your student for the future in high school, college, and their career. It's where students find their passion in the arts and through sports. They explore languages, discover robots, and build solar cars. We challenge students through studies inside and outside the classroom and set them on the lifelong path of learning and success. Explore opportunity in Northside. North Park Lexus of San Antonio and North Park Lexus of Dominion have over 350 used cars in stock, plus over 100 L-certified vehicles available. Each L-certified vehicle receives a comprehensive 161-point inspection and is backed with an industry-best unlimited mileage warranty, roadside assistance, and two years of complimentary maintenance. Visit either North Park Lexus location to select one. For your high school student or graduate, North Park Lexus, proud supporters of high school athletics. We're here at Brendan High School, home of the Bears, still undefeated in district play after the win over Sotomayor last week. We have Nico Thomas from the San Antonio Gunslingers here to present this week's John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week, receiver Aaron DuBose. Yeah! <laughs> we started off amazing. My buddy Dylan Cowan ran, ran a touchdown back the first play of the game, picked up a fumble. Just gave us some momentum throughout the entire game, and after that, the rest is history, and defense locked it up. He's one of those guys that can do it all. We can put him down and play four down. We can play him high. We can put him at outside linebacker. He, he kind of is a jack of all trades, and thankfully, he plays for the Broncos. Uh, so they ran, they're running outside zone. Uh, the quarterback was booting out. The line was uh, zoning towards my side, and I just saw it coming out. I knew the, the, the tackle was coming towards me, so I got up outside of him, and, Made a big hit on the quarterback. Here so far, Brent Ice cheating up again. Metzger rolls left. Here comes a oh, rush. Oh, this is blown up. Zingleman. Zingleman. Yeah, impact player of the game right there. Well, first thing I would say, academically, he's sound. You know, he's off the charts academically. He's football-minded. You know, he believes in the process and in the scheme and everything that you want to do. Um, he's a captain on the football field. You know, when you need that coach on the field, He's that guy, so he kind of has all the traits that colleges look for. Draw play. Gertz, blown up. Guess who? Yeah. Zingleman. Zingleman again. Well, I feel what John Wayne does for Texas high school football is amazing. Um, Texas is the best state to play football. And then having John Wayne behind it and helping being the catalyst to get our brand out there, I, I feel like older people, who can't get out and watch the games, you know, that's their avenue where they can see what's going on. And then people who don't live in the city that want to know what, let's say what Brown Dest is about, they can watch us on TSP. So I feel like working together, John Wayne and TSP, I think it's amazing. I just want to thank all of Brandeis and all the Brandeis community for voting for me, all my family. We all came together, and I'm really happy to be the John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week. So once again, Brady Zingelman from Brandeis High School is this week's John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week. Make sure that you're participating in this great contest. During the broadcast on BGC and MeTV, you can vote for your player of the game. With the player of the game, if it matches ours, you can win two tickets to watch the San Antonio Gunslingers play Arena League football beginning in April. And then also on Sunday, 
Start your John Wayne Service Company Player of the Week voting. Go to johnwayne.com to participate. Just by participating, you're automatically entered to win a $10,000 home makeover. Have you been looking for a computer and electronics store that's right for you? Altex Computers and Electronics has been serving businesses and consumers for over 30 years. Altex has aisles and aisles of computer systems, laptops, network accessories, surveillance equipment, and thousands of cables and connectors. From computer upgrades and repair to complete system and network design and installation, Altex gives great customer service before and after the sale. Altex Computers and Electronics, your total technology store. Locations throughout Texas and ALTEX.com. On the field, we fight hard and smart. It's about teamwork and strategy. When an 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury puts you on the sidelines, your next move could determine your future. And you want to win. Get a winning team. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 888-8888. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Go for the win. Just call Wayne Wright. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright Injury Lawyers. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. If you don't mean it, it's just words. Well, integrity is basically loyalty to be good when no one is watching, so you should do it because you know it's right. Welcome back here to Ferris Stadium. You see uh, senior night tonight at uh, Harlan High School as the seniors that participate in uh, all the uh, events surrounding the high school football, including cheer, dance, band. They got a big line. There's a lot of seniors uh, at uh, Harlan. They're still lined up in the end zone. You see some of them have already uh, made their way onto the field. And again, you know, it's one of those deals. This is what it's all about, you know, community and giving these kids the experience that, you know, you only get to be seniors once and, and live the high school experience. And, you know, that whole area over by Harlan High School has really grown in that community and they're building new subdivisions and whatnot. It's great to see everybody come out here and, and rally around uh, the thing that's common to everybody, and that's our children. And, and that's what's great about high school athletics. It's a unifying, unifying factor uh, in a lot of communities. So the uh, senior night tonight, it doesn't look like we're going to get a performance from the uh, band. Uh, we'll check out some more of the uh, senior night festivities here in just a moment but let's first take a look at the uh, first half highlights in this contest 13 to 10 is the lead they started off with Peyton Matthews they got him involved early yeah with the wildcat or wild hawk formation right there this kid's only a sophomore now and he you know had so far has had a heck of a first half Angel Gonzalez Lopez though follows with a 29 yard field goal that made it 7-3 Harlan and then the first doink didn't go the way that uh, Dominic Pena wanted yeah, the wind was whipping and, you know, like you <laughs> doink and then that yep. was the miss. That was the miss. And then the big play by Johnny Lott to uh, Clay Pot Porter. Great press box call again, man. A little run, little bait and switch right there, wide open. And Porter does the rest. That was 76 yard to make it 10 to 7, not tap. But then uh, Pena ties it. And I'll tell you what, and it's again, back and forth, back and forth here. And then, and then the doink gives him the lead. Watch this. 48 yards. Great luck right there. Just enough. And, uh, well, I tell you, you know, if you if you get the kicking game going, it makes a big difference. It's the difference in the game right now for Harlan. But, again, Andy, they haven't uh, been able to finish drives the way Eddie Salas wants them to finish drives. Of course, they had the touchdown pass where they had the, uh, the pick call uh, that uh, negated that. And that was the uh, drive that they missed the field goal. So they were that close to having a, two touchdowns well, on this, the board. And this is a, you're exactly right, but this in a game like this, these field goals matter. I mean, it's going to go back and forth. There could be a field goal fest before this thing's over with here. And Taft gets the ball to start the second half. 
back and forth, back and forth. And again, two great football teams playing in week, uh, their 10th ball game, week 11, as you pointed out. But I mean, it's the last game of the season and you want to finish it right, yes. Coach Salas wants his team to finish drives, but he's also understanding that in a game like this, three points could be the difference as well. So again, as coaches, you, you have an idea of what your product should look like. Uh, that's why you study film the way you do. That's why you go back and read when you watch, they're, you know, they're going to watch this film of this game and it's everything, the mistakes that are made are teaching moments and you continue to grow your product, build your product, and hopefully you peak at the right time coming up here in the next few weeks. And now the biggest line of the day, and that's the band parents line, the senior band parents, as they will come out onto the field uh, for one final uh, salute to their fans and uh, th these young men and women have worked hard all season they'll get another chance next week as Harlan has qualified for the playoffs but the question is the uh, will the uh, Hawks be here in San Antonio or will they be on the road in the Laredo area right now it looks positive for them with a 13 to 10 lead here at the break but if they end up winning the game the odds are very very high right. that they will get to host now We've been told that both uh, Brennan and Brandeis have secured home playoff games on Friday night at either at Ferris and Gus, respectively, and uh, which means uh, for the Harlan Hawks, if they do host a playoff game, it will be either Thursday or Saturday. So uh, the Hawks, I would say, being that they're playing Thursday and if they can win tonight, uh, I would think they would want to bring a team from the Laredo, uh, Rio Grande Valley area uh, excuse me, Rio Grande area, not the, really the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, that that Valley District is kind of that Laredo uh, and Del Rio uh, area of South Texas. But uh, there's a lot of teams. It, it's a real confusing if you look at the uh, teams that are in contention in District 36A. Uh, Laredo United is in, Eagle Pass is in, but then Alexander United South, Del Rio, and uh, all th those other three teams are all in contention. Uh, for those final spots so you don't really know if you're taft right or uh, harlan who the heck you're going to play in the first round you could, there's possibilities you could but realistically you don't know for have sure. in that district looking at it you realistically could have a five-way tie uh you know and that that would be a nightmare but those last three teams are all sitting with two losses and after tonight someone's going to have that third loss so uh, but i promise you this all these scenarios have already been weighed out by both school districts i promise you the coaches already know where they're playing next week based on what happens tonight uh, these, you know, nowadays it used to be after the game you do it, but now everybody looks ahead, calls ahead, uh, flips a coin, uh, whatever needs to be done to get everything set up and get the logistics set. So these guys know pretty much if this, we're, we're going here, if that, this is happening. Um, and again, that's, you know, one of those deals. And if you could play on a Thursday, week one of the playoffs, it definitely benefits you in the next week because the closer you get, the, the more rounds you go, you start looking at Saturday ball games. Um, and again, that's you know one of those deals you want to get the extra extra rest if you can the following week. But uh, what a fun time though! What a fun time to play football. If you've ever played high school playoff football, uh, and it's starting to get cooler. If you're playing in November, and especially if you're playing in December, you know it's something special. Uh, and again, these kids, these seniors, get to go one more week because of what's happening on the field, which means the band gets to perform one more week, the pep squad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Um, you know, both these teams are in. It's just a matter of how this all is going to shake out. But it, at the end of the deal, you want to win this ball game because we're all competitors, and that's the way. That's why we play. That's why we coach. All right, we'll take our final time out. When we uh, return, we'll talk halftime adjustments and talk to uh, Coach Ricky Stade as he uh, comes onto the field trailing the Harlan Hawks 13 to 10. Harlan with the lead. You're watching High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. In Northside, our mission is to help every child succeed. That's why we want our students here every day so they can build relationships, discover their passions, and find opportunities. We know regular school attendance is one of the best ways to make sure students succeed in school and in the future. Help us make every school day count. Explore opportunity in Northside. The BGC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Anyways, hold on to this one, 85 yards. We have the games, we have the technology, and it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app, experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. 
The Kalig Auto Group, the North Park Bluebonnet family of dealerships, has in stock over 2,500 pre owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no hassle 72 hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kalig Auto Group, the North Park Bluebonnet family of dealerships. It's high school football time, and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player, and you'll win two tickets to a 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. Welcome back to Ferris Stadium as uh, we just talk halftime adjustments. Uh, Andy, we've already talked about it a little bit, but uh, Harlan's just needs to finish drives. Taft's going to have to muster a little bit more offense. They're a running team that they haven't run the ball very successfully yet tonight. One of these, neither one of these teams have, has won on first down so far tonight. Uh, they've been in second and you know second to mid second along because of penalties But they've done a pretty decent, you know conversion on, on third down conversion and whatnot But you know being able to win on first down is probably going to be both of these the Keys to getting after it here in the second half. All right, let's go down to Gabe Farias with coach Ricky State. Yeah, coach uh, Ricky, what was the message to your team in that halftime locker room? These 29 6 a games are, are, are fun to watch. What did you tell your kids coming out? I mean, it's more of the same. Every week's a battle, no matter who you play. Uh, we got to do a better job on third down. Uh, third and long has got us a few times. It left us on the field, limited our offense to three possessions. Uh, and we got 10 points out of those three possessions, but it's going to take a hell of a lot more than 10 points to beat those guys. Yeah. Coach, best of luck second half. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go Raiders. All right, guys. All right. Taft trying to come off their uh, a loss from a week ago. And, of course, you know, the Raiders, Andy, they qualified Testing. for the playoffs a couple of weeks ago. They secured their spot, but... They want to be playing good football going into uh, the playoffs, and going into the playoffs with two straight losses doesn't doesn't feel right if you're the Raiders. Well, and again, losses aren't fatal if you learn from them and you're already in the playoffs. You know, Jay was a wake-up call last week, I'm sure, for these guys. And, uh, you know, you want to come in. At number one, you want to come out of this thing healthy. Healthy as you can be at the end of the football season to have a strong start to the playoffs. And uh, Coach State knows this. And again, again, converting on third downs and things like that, or better yet, staying out of third and long by winning on first down is what I was trying to say uh, before we went to him. But, um, you know, again, both sides of the football, getting Jacob Gonzalez rocking and rolling and getting T.J. Andrews rocking and rolling, that means the bigs up front, Gabe, have to be lathered up, ready to rock and roll and win the fight at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it, it almost seems like a game, Andy, whoever has the ball at the end of the game as this fourth quarter winds down is going to win, as cliche as that sounds. This is a back-and-forth game between two very evenly matched teams. Andy, I got to head the Hawks minus, you know, really giving up that one big play. I think they play pretty good defense. Yeah, it, it, again, no turnovers. Neither team's turned the ball over. That's going to be another factor. Who's going to steal the possession here? You know, uh, Taft's getting the football here to start the second half because they won the coin toss at the beginning of the game and deferred. So, again, this is their chance to come down and even the odds. Either they're going to get seven, they're going to get three, or they're going to get nothing. And, again, you want to steal the possession however you can uh, for the end of this thing. And it might come down to your field goal kickers, and that's okay. No one says you have to win 79 to, to 66. I mean, these games like this, you know, these defenses are playing lights out so far. Yeah, we just got to stay doink free, guys. That's doink all we got to do. <laughs> well, it could come down to a doink, though, Gabe, if you really think about it. Well, we, I the, the doink was the difference between, uh, so what, six points in that first half? <laughs> one plus th doink three and one minus doink three. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. The Harlan Hawks, five straight wins. Trying to make it six straight as they are playoff bound. They'll kick it off to start the second half. And it's a short kick into the win. And it's picked up at the 25-yard line. Yeah. Coming left with it is Xavier Blanco. He had a good return about to that same spot earlier tonight. And there's another one to get... Taft, good field position to get things going. Yeah, good job on the initial, uh, making the initial wave the miss there by Blanca and setting up his team. First down and 10 here from the 38. 
Well, and, and he was just, I mean, he, he, he fingertip caught that football, man. That thing almost went right through his hands. Yeah, and, you, and people ask, well, why do you kick it short like that? Or what? I, that's all dangerous, man, when you start kicking to the, the green area out there, the dead spots in that return. And, uh, yeah, you're right. That could be the ball on the ground in a hurry. Yeah. The uh, Hawks, they, they lost their first two district games. They lost to Brennan, then O'Connor, but they have reeled off uh, five straight since that time. And they are... Looking to make it six straight. This is their biggest challenge in weeks as they will stuff the run there. Wow, okay. They've been doing that all game. I mean, there's been a few breaks by Porter and Andrews, but not many. By well, that time, they went a little wildcat yeah, with uh, with Porter, man, and nothing doing. Tackle for a loss right off the bat again. Gabe winning on first down. It's not happening tonight. Yeah, it, it's not happening. You know, Andy, I was gonna I was gonna ask you how big because both these teams have done a pretty good job of taking care of the football. It also seems like the one team that can get a takeaway is gonna have a tremendous advantage in this football game. Taft Raiders with a second down. Scoreboard says 10. It's really about 11 here. Lot gonna keep it himself. They load up the right side and. The defense throws bodies into that pile, Andy, and they stop Lot for maybe a yard. Well, that's a great job up front by the defense of the uh, defense of the Hawks there. I mean, you got Nathaniel Teeler, you got Dante McCray, you got Luke Britton all anchoring the inside. You got the linebackers coming across the inside, T.J. Butler and Yair Galacio. We've said their names a bunch, and they just flow into the line of scrimmage and making piles, as you said, and having to trip over bodies and barely got back that one yard they lost on first down there. Third down and 10 for the Taft Raiders initial drive of the second half. They're two out of four tonight on third down conversions. Play action for Lott. Pass rush on. Throws one up the field and it is too high looking for his man Porter again. And you think uh, Eddie Salas got the message that hey we better figure out where number 18 is at. They yeah. did there. Yeah and the ball was overthrown there but in coverage was uh, being Destin being number three, and I don't know if uh, Lott thought that uh, Cotter was going to go deeper or what the deal, or Porter, rather, was going to go deeper or what the deal was, but brings up fourth down and ten, just like that, a, a three and out for the Taft Raiders to start the second half. And uh, Porter, you think he'll kick it anywhere near Jacob Gonzalez? We'll see. Three and out for the Raiders. Jacob's going to watch this one go to the sidelines. Pretty good job of kicking the ball away from a dangerous return man and flipping the field a little bit there right. by Clay Porter. Well, you saw that Gonzalez was all the way over here on the uh, right hash uh, where the wind was blowing and nothing doing. Porter kicked it all the way over to his sideline and was able to get the ball all the way down to the 19, 18 yard line there. Boy, how impressed, guys, have you been with Porter yeah. in this football game? I mean, this kid has done Everything, and when you talk about player of the game, guys, he's got to be on everybody's short list right now. Vote for your player of the game at johnwayne.com. Make the selection, and if it matches ours, you'll win two tickets to see the San Antonio Gunslingers Arena football beginning in April at Freeman Coliseum. Farish hands to Gonzalez, sprints up the middle. Jacob Gonzalez, first down and more. Big difference there, Taft three and out. First play for Harlan is a 17-yard run by Jacob Gonzalez. Yeah, and it's a matter of time, like we said, he's too good of a running back not to not to bust free and be explosive as we saw right here. This time they used him cross motion using Mikey Ducey, kind of smoke and mirrors right there to hold the linebackers and allow the blocks to angle up there for a big game. First down and 10 out to the 34-yard line go the Hawks. Schools uh, just miles apart there on uh, Calabar Road, 471. As Jacob Gonzalez sprints to the right, finds the hole, gets to the sidelines, and all the way to the Taft, 43-yard line. I think uh, you talk about the bigs getting lathered up. I, I think Jacob Gonzalez is getting lathered up, too. Well, and again, great job. I'm going to call it out. Mikey Ducey, number zero here on the outside. Right here, you see him unselfish, staying on his guy. And again, Gonzalez don't need much to get skinny and get some yardage. First down. Ferris going to throw one down the field. Lots of contact, and there's a flag as Isaiah Manchester was the intended target, and he was interfered with. Well, and again, 
you know, it, it's tit for tat too, too though, because Isaiah Manchester was trying to push off a little bit. But I was just going to say, Andy, I saw that hand extend to keep that Gabriel quarterback Garcia away. Did, yeah, but he didn't look back to play the ball, so they're probably going to call interference. Pass interference. Yeah. Defense. Yeah, Number 26. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Yeah, he was there. If he would have turned to try to play the ball a little bit, that might have gone a, another direction there. But he just. Yards to go at the Raiders 20. So the ball goes to the 28-yard line with 9:01 to go here in the third. Kings of Calabria, yeah, we just mentioned it. All I know is Harlan's way out there, guys. Way out there. <laughs> Jacob Gonzalez wrapped up in the backfield there and does get forward, but Matthew Cruz met him right at the point of attack. Possession, second down. Again, that's a two-yard gain, so. Again, Raiders defense, if you start getting in towards the red zone right here, start stiffening up a little bit, bending but not breaking. Gabe got to present the player of the week one time at Harlan, and he says it's pretty far from shirts, huh? Way out there. <laughs> I was wondering why you were being so nice to me that day. <laughs> Second down. Okay. And again, uh, they're going to go to the sophomore, Peyton. Uh, Matthews and he gets to the 20 yard line again wildcat with uh, Jacob Gonzalez that's such a threat when you have two guys back there and you got to get run it like that you got to stay home for number seven man but it helps that you got a pup man again Peyton Matthews only a sophomore number four is only a sophomore Gabe and again the, the future looking bright for that young man it, it is and how can you not just stop in your tracks when number seven takes that direct snap and it's such a such a detour and, and such a good way to run that offense Third down and two now for the uh, Hawks. And we get a timeout on the field. Timeout, Harlan. That's their first charge timeout of the half. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's high school football time and John Wayne is right in the middle of the action. At the end of this game, one of the players will be chosen as the John Wayne player of the game. Go to johnwayne.com right now and vote for the player who you think will win. Pick the correct player and you'll win two tickets to a 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers home game. And just for playing, you'll have a chance to win the John Wayne $10,000 home makeover package. Don't fumble. Go to johnwayne.com and vote before the end of the game. If I were telling my friends uh, that were looking for a school, I would definitely tell them to come look uh, at the options Northside has to offer. Choosing Northside, again, provides opportunities. So Northside has helped my son because it's been a safe and nurturing school environment for him. You can see the hearts and the teachers and just the compassion that they have for their students in helping them thrive in their education. After the timeout, a third and two here for the Hawks. Jacob Gonzalez, he's going to be close. Pins on the spot. Well, Charles Barber, number three, was right there to meet him. But you're absolutely right. Which official we're going to use the spot with here? And I don't think he got it. They're going to say fourth down. You're right, game. Well, now you're kicking against this win. And although uh, there's been a couple of nice kicks by Dominic Pena, it's a little tougher going into the win, obviously. Uh, you go for it here. There's no there's no hesitation here, man. Well, they got their jumbo package. Yeah. They got big old number 63 in the ball game right there. That's going to be Joshua Acevedo at the fullback. They're going to give it to Jacob and Gonzalez following the bigs, and he gets behind them. And once he got to about the 15, he does the rest as he drives his legs down to the 12. Stop by a lot of teams call that the jumbo package or the rhino Harlan package. First down, you see why well, you got big go boy with a head 12. of steam blowing it through there and you big old 70 coming in there too. Let's give him some props. That's going to be Miles Manful. Oh. And then they get in the same formation. Everybody moved but the center. Yeah. I've heard him say that. Everyone but the center. Ball start. Offense. Number 65. Five yard penalty. Well, they pick, they pick on one guy. I was going to say, that's so unfair. You they, pick one guy, everybody moved to the center. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that, beauty of being a center. When that happens, you, the penalty's not on you that, officially. And well, that would be me. Fault. He's listed as the right tackle. That's Farrell, Farrell De Silva Sosa, and he's playing center right now. Maybe he's supposed to be playing tackle, but they moved him in there, so that might have something to do with it. 
Parrish will throw. Again, yeah, contact. They held Easy on. Easy call. Easy call. Manchester was held that time. Gabriel Garcia on the coverage. You could see him very clearly yeah, grab beat. the jersey. He was beat. That's probably the right thing to do instead of give up the TD. I agree. <clears throat> so that'll turn uh, first and 15 into first. Pass interference. Defense. First and goal. Ball will be placed at the two. They're going to say first he was in the end zone. Yeah, Ball's in, in place at the two by rule. So from first and 15 to first and goal at the two. Jumbo package still in for the Hawks. They quickly go up, and the officials had not. A flag. Yeah. Well, can you get a flag if they – they hadn't set the play yet. That's what Coach Salas kind of palms up like – Are they backing that up? The left game on the center. Uh, offense. Five yard penalty. Is that because first he down. snapped it before they were ready to go? Illegal snap, simulated snap. More like, but so, again, I thought that was discombobulated from the get. And that's on the it's he, a premature snap, I guess. And we're trying to Coach Salas is asking for clarification over here, and I don't blame him. So Ferris hands to Gonzalez. Jacob Gonzalez. Gets it back to the two. A lot of big bodies. He just gets behind the wall right there. And again, a little hurry up right here. 13 to 10. Harlan trying to add to it. More Jacob Gonzalez. This time he dives into the end zone with a two yard touchdown. Great job up front, man. I tell you, he does a good job of seeing the daylight. He just gets it, accelerates, and gets in the end zone right there. Touchdown, Gonzalez. Well, they telegraphed kind of what they were doing with those uh, jumbo package. Oh, yeah, that's all Didn't right. Didn't matter. You still got to stop it. That's right. We're going to run the ball right here. Meet us in the middle. High snap on the extra point. The holder did a great job of getting it down. And the kick is good, and it's now Harlan by 10. 20 to 10, the Hawks with the lead. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts, plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. Y100, San Antonio's new country leader. Alamo City Proud. If I didn't love you, I'd be good by now. Mornings with Frito and Katie. You got your hands up, you're rocking in. Your hometown you country station. For a long time. San Antonio's new country I'm leader. Y100. After tap goes three and out on their first possession, the Hawks answer with an eight play, 82 yard, 339 off the clock, and a two yard run by Jacob Gonzalez, who got a lot of work, Andy, on that that opening drive for Harlan. And why not? I'd go back to that until they stop it. I'd get lined up in that same formation, that jumbo package, run it down their throat, make them stop it. I, I, I agree with Andy. Hey, guys, this is where we're running the football. Stop it. Now, if you're tapped here, you got to go down here and put some points on the board. Oh, the ball oh. fell off the tee. The well, the, the, Gabe, remember when I asked, is the wind blowing? Yeah, that's... Uh, that, is that your answer? Yeah, what's that? If, 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 if bouncing one off the uprights is a doink, was, is that just a skittle? Is that what that is off the tee? Is it a little skittle off the tee? No? What do you think, Skelly? It might qualify. As a skittle off the tee? <laughs> All right. You, you've got Skittles on the brain, don't you? You gave me a little... I got my own bag. Yeah, granted, it was a little bag that he... Got from a kid on Halloween, I Happy think. Halloween, this ball hung up in the wind. Oh, and oh. Was, oh, he's down. Yeah, return man slipped and fell right as he caught it, and that was uh, that was uh, Blanco again, Xavier Blanco. He's returned too. Yeah, he's and had a couple good ones and just slipped yeah. right there. 
Guys, uh, well, you know how we are with our ultimatums, right, Gabriel? But uh, this does kind of feel like a must-score drive for Taft. Well, half of the third quarter is, is already gone. You look up at the board, and there's 631 remaining. I, I, I agree with Andy. I don't think this is a must-touchdown possession, but they got to get some points on the board right now. And Coach Day's talking to the white hat out there, trying to get some clarification. Yeah, and, uh, and, and he's happy with it. I mean, the kid fell. He, his yeah, backside yeah, he hit the you. ground. He tried to pop up, and, I mean, he's down. I mean, two cheeks equals one knee, right? Is that, is that the rule, Andy? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that yeah. Guys, we saw Taft earlier this year run the ball extremely well against Veterans Memorial. Guys, they have 46 yards of rushing in this ball game so far. Zero just has not gotten it going, Andy. Yeah, that all it has to do with that Harlem yeah, defense, I agree. man. They, they're stuffing that middle and making it kind of difficult here. So you got Porter and Andrews to either side of Lot. And they're going to go to Andrews, trying to sweep it left. And again, there's a defense. Yeah. Man, they are side to side. It's very, very quick to the ball. T.J. Butler running it down from the inside, number 45 right there. And Inside out, we've seen him earlier. He got he got his bell rung and he lost his lunch. But he's back in there running it down from the backside right here. A little pick and pull collision, him and then outside guys. Almost the exact same thing that happened when he was got the wind knocked out of him. They got help coming from the secondary there. The parts you need at the price you can afford. Can afford. Lot rolls right, throws complete. And out to the 26-yard uh, line is Shamir Venister setting up third and about three. Well, it's a manageable third down right here in third and three. And again, trying to find the way to get the ball outside right there as they go hurry up right here under center. They'll run the old toss to uh, Andrews, and he's going to get enough, but just barely. barely. Yeah, the old, old school get underneath, student body right. Moves the chains for the Taft Raiders. He looks like a, a tailback, the guy, the old-fashioned tailback. You just put him in the eye and then toss it to him. Put him nine yards deep, and let's go. Only a couple of running backs I know back in the day were able to be able, fast enough to be lining up nine yards deep, but he's, he's pretty good. First down and 10. Pistol set again. And they give it to the H-back, fullback, ahead to the 31-yard line. First carry for Prometheus Elmore, Elmore a sophomore. Another sophomore in the ball game. Why not? You know you're in the playoffs. Why not let the pup get a touch? I mean, to go at the Raiders 31. After that really critical 59 to 52 overtime win against Warren, that started the five-game winning streak for Harlan and their defense since then has been pretty good guys and they're showing it here tonight that was a, a game of the year candidate on that one Saturday night when Harlan and uh, Warren collided Andrews sweep left Andrews up the field there's a flag behind him at the 30 yard line if it stands, run. he's got a first down at the 43, but it looks like yeah. they're walking it back. Great effort, man. They just had a hold coming inside here, but watch him. He gets a little stiff arm action, get, trying to get Butler off of him. Butler's been in hot pursuit all Holding. night. Offense, number 22, 10-yard penalty from previous spot. Devon Irwin's the receiver was out there, and it's, it's kind of hard to block out in space like yeah, that and get away thing. with anything. It's a timing thing out there. You know, it's not necessarily an effort thing when you hold, but it's a timing thing That's when to throw your block, how long, how long to hold your block. And they've gotten really, 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 really finicky, the officials have, the last couple years on that. And they're really starting to call that if you get any kind of hands outside and things like that. And so there you go, uh, Gabriel. We've gone from doink to finicky. We're, we're improving our vocabulary. I'll tell you what, that is that's a devastating penalty against the the Taft Raiders. I mean, this is a, a down and distance, Andy. They just haven't had a lot of success on tonight. One big throw has been their offense uh, here tonight. Let's see if Locke can make a second big throw. He'll mm -hmm. throw it deep. And it's a great catch by guess who? Welcome back. No, that's Porter. <laughs> Not Kata, the defender, Porter. Clay Porter, man. Yeah, been there all night. Great Welcome job. Welcome back, Clay Porter. There you go, man. That's he goes I'm up in. between two defenders right here, looks it all the way in over the shoulder. 
Hey, guys, he is a dude. He is. He is a dude. Because that was not, that wasn't the best throw in the world, guys. Let's, let's he went face up and it. got that. Yeah, he, he just he threw it where he only he could get it to the sideline, though. Threw him open a little bit. Yeah, get it to 18. Welcome back, Porter. They'll take it. The Wildcat again. And it is Porter. Now, you know, Andy, just the way Harlan's trying to figure out how to get Peyton Matthews the football. Now Taft getting creative. How do we get Clay Porter the football? Yeah, Coach Coach State going crazy over there, being happy right here. Ike Porter's got the hot hand. Let's go. Snap it to him and just say go. That's winning on first down right there, Gabriel. When you got second down and three, now you got some. Now you got some room. Yeah, man, they they needed a big play, man. They got it on that big pass to Porter. Watch them uh, the get offense, a little pep in their step. Offensive now. coordinator Josh Perez has some options here. Now Porter's the tight end to the right. We're gonna hand it off to Andrews, straight ahead to the 45. But they got the run game going a little bit here finally. And now it's third and short. Well, you want to get the defensive line on their heels. Want to get them breathing hard in a little bit. Get you a sustained drive right here. Get them putting their hands on their hips. Get them rethinking their situation of why they wanted to play football in the first place. And... Philosophize is yeah, what you're saying. Well, it's a mind game, man. But you got to get them to that point. You got to get them that, that point of fatigue where they got to make tough decisions, man. And body language speaks volumes, man. When you start putting hands on hips and you start breathing hard and you're getting slow getting off the ground after plays, you got to keep the hammer down. And, and get this thing close into the fourth quarter here. Andrews offset eye right. Porter in motion. They'll follow him. And Lott does not get the first down. Yeah, he got stood up and then stood up again on his yeah. second effort. It's going to be fourth down and one, man. Let me see who that was that came in there. And... They tried to have Porter lead the way through, but there wasn't the through part wasn't there. Penetration came from the inside there. Great job by the Harlan defense. Fourth down and one, guys. They have to go for it. Try to draw them off sides maybe here as we're getting. They got to hold the, you see the umpire there hold them up because the defense has an opportunity to substitute because the offense did. Fourth and one, the Raiders need this conversion badly. Guess who? And they go under center with Porter, and he flag. There's a flag and a false start coming against the Raiders. Oh my goodness! That Porter got under center. And, I mean, I I love it, man. Like I said, that kid's got the hot hand right now. Illegal formation. Uh, Offense. Not more than four in the backfield. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. And they kind of tricked him right there. Walked over like, hey, what's up? And they got under the but you you can't have more than four in the backfield. You heard the referee right there. And Coach Day disagreed with that. Vehemently. Yep, and that's all right. Another big word, Gabe. Yeah, I'm, Spell I'm, it. I'm on a roll. <laughs> v E ding. <laughs> like I'd get maybe three word three letters in and I'd get the ding. I was the worst spelling bee guy in the world. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to he to he. It's the Gabe. Did you ever make it to the second round of the spelling bee? No, man. I was a I was an immediate ding. <laughs> It wasn't a dunk, it was a ding, and I got the ding. Taft's going to use yeah, would too, a timeout. Right Talk about it here. Timeout. Taft. We'll take a break. They may need to go for it. We'll check it. This is the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Don Rackler here. Don't miss out on end-of-the-year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. North Park Lexus of San Antonio has earned elite of Lexus status for 27 consecutive years. And North Park Lexus of Dominion has earned elite status every year since opening in 2016. Visit either North Park Lexus location this winter and test drive the all-new 2023 Lexus RX with its all-new redesigned sleeker exterior and more powerful stance. Available this winter at either North Park Lexus location. Proud supporters of high school athletics. Welcome back to Ferris Stadium. Uh, Harlan not expecting a punt here. They've got everybody up. Fourth down. They'll snap it back to Porter, and he'll go ahead and punt it away. This is a boomer. 
And it will. Great make, effort. Oh, good effort, but it will go into the end zone. That was uh, Blanco again, shaking up a little bit when he went to the uh, turf. But that was a big stop. And, guys, that was a big, big penalty because Taft appeared to have the first down before that. Yeah, and it's tough to see, you know, formation-wise, but both the line judge and the headline judge, linesman and headline judge, both threw the flag on that and said there was more than four in the backfield. Uh, so, Well, guys, now if you're Coach Eddie Salas, this is that point of this season and that point of the game where you got to be able to go for the jugular and try to finish a game off, and they have a chance maybe to do that here. Yeah, guys, you, you, you know, you, you guys talked about that, that big, big win over... Uh, Warren. Was it Warren? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was the O'Connor loss that really got these guys going. Jacob Gonzalez sprints to the sideline for eight of three. Yeah, that looks like Coach right there, but he's able to turn the corner, pick up two right there on first down. And yeah, I agree with you, Gabe. That when they lost to O'Connor, there was a little soul searching, and then they had just the, the crazy game again. Yeah, it was against Warren. And if they lose that game, guys, they're they're still not. They wouldn't have clinched a playoff berth by this moment. They'd still be Fighting trying to fight to get into the yep. final spot. That was a big win. All four teams have clinched in this district, but these two battling for second place here tonight. Ferris. Just a bit off right yeah, there. Yeah, a little high. Trying to get it to Matthews again. No, I'm sorry, Manchester. And again, I'm like Gabe. I mean, I think you want to take the opportunity right here and try to get this first down, get your running game going, run this clock, and, and ground, grind it a little bit and get out of here with the win. Ferris, just a junior. There's actually quite a few. Now, they lose Jacob Gonzalez, but there's a lot of good talent on this uh, Harlan team that will return next season for Coach Eddie Salas. Third and eight. Taft needing a stop. Ferris gives it to Jacob Gonzalez. And he's going to pick up the first down on the draw. Well, not really a draw. That was a lead. Kind of oh, just boy. a straight yeah. lead, yep. Lead right there. They had uh, 46 in there as well, being the lead blocker. That was uh, Salas, uh, Salas Walford, number 46, and he, he blocking up in there. They're just letting seven pick the hole. You know, he... he Cut it back, the linebacker, backside linebacker played over the top, and he cut it back where that backer came from and was able to go pick up the first down. Well designed playing, man. That will end the uh, third quarter of play. Harlan outscores Taft 7 to nothing in the third. They lead 20 to 10 after three. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Wednesday, hold on to this one. 85 yards. We have the games. We have the technology. And it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app. Experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. minutes to go in this uh, final regular season game for both playoff bound teams and his first and ten Harlan now moving right to left more Jacob Gonzalez for a yard that time and again good job by Ben Martinez coming up in there cleaning it up minimal game tough sledding on that play well, job Andy they got back. a 20 to 10 lead so you got to expect it's going to be Jacob Gonzalez and more Jacob Gonzalez because they want to just keep the clock moving. You still get the ball. We haven't seen four carry at this half yet, which was Matthews, and he's got a touchdown tonight. And they got a lot of weapons that can actually run that Wildcat and give it different looks, but they would definitely want this clock running. 
Now Jacob Gonzalez, 24 carries, 156 yards, and a touchdown. As you said, Andy, they're going to try to get it to other players as well. Matthews, another jet sweep for him to the 37. He's up a third down and four here. And again, you got some options with the shorter to mid range right here. And again, they second, third, fourth time we've seen that. Good job by Gonzalez outside getting the kick block there to spring him. And they don't flip it forward. They actually hand it off. Yeah, they handed that one. So that counts as a run, another run for the sophomore Peyton Matthews. Third down and four for the Hawks. They need to get to the 41 yard line here. Ferris, pressure, and gets rid of it. Incomplete, that saved some of the yardage, and now Saint the Norales. Hawks will have to punt. The uh, Raiders finally get the stop they needed. Saint Norales comes in there, and again, they're, they're rearranging their front. They kind of blitz and bringing them from different angles up front. You see seven come through there and actually was able to get to him, force him to throw it away there. And that's what they needed to do. It's a good, a good stop for Taft, man. Let's see if they try to let him get a return here or not. So the Hawks, uh, a rare punt tonight. This one's going to bounce around the 25 and then going to die down right there. So Taft gets the stop they need, and now they've got to get this offense going. Got to do something to get you again. Winning on first downs, get you, get you five, six, seven yards on first down. Find a way. Give yourself a little relief so you can get there second and short, stay out of third and long. And uh, again, you're only down 10. It's two possession here, so it's very doable. Guys, we've got to give a little shout out. Blake Fushak, in his first year as a head coach, All right. has just won the district championship for Antonio, and they defeated Houston St. Thomas tonight, 38 to 35. They're nine and one, headed to the playoffs. Congratulations to uh, the young coach Fushak. Yes, absolutely. Congrats, coach. First down and 10. Lot, keeper, coming right. Right, there you go to the 38, uh, 28 yard line. Yeah, find a way. You know, do something that they hadn't seen there. Like we said, five, six yards on first down right there. Skelly and uh, Blake Fushak's only loss this year for Antonio was to state rank Bernie. That is a good football team. Yeah, I had a chance to do their their Somerset game earlier this year, and and I called you guys when that when that game was over, and I said, man, Antonio's for real. Somerset is a good football team and they, and they won that game on both sides second down and five now for the Raiders give it off to Porter not much there that run defense still making things very difficult on the Taft Raiders yeah Yer, Yer Galacio number 31 that's two tackles in a row for him he made the tackle on that last play we've said his name a bunch tonight too and again candidates everywhere for this Harlan defense yeah players of the game I tell you you've got to start looking at those guys on that defensive side they have really showed up tonight they gave up one big play on the top pa touchdown pass but other than that the harlan defense has been outstanding and, and nothing in between the tackles andy no. nothing at all all night long those front seven guys have been stymieing them and holding them in place there lot will keep it going nowhere and taking a beating in the process there's your other candidate tj butler number 45 those two inside linebackers galatio and butler you see 45 sniffing him out. Yeah, he may not get credit for the tackle, Andy, but he's the guy that, First as contact. you say, stymied that play. Was that a, was that a little rascal, by the way? Was stymie a little rascal? <laughs> I believe. I don't think. I don't know what you're laughing. At. That was the dog's name. <laughs> no, I think stymie was the little smelly kid, wasn't it? <laughs> Spanky. I remember Spanky. Huh? Low snap. Porter gets it off. Jacob Gonzalez is going to pick it up at the 30-yard line. Open field, Jacob Gonzalez. Uh -oh. Look uh -oh. out. Flags, flags. everywhere. Flags. Jacob's going to take this one all the way, I believe. More flags. They got an back. angle on him, but they don't have the speed to catch him. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun to watch, even though I believe it's coming we'll back. One, two, three, it was four. More fun. The, the, the run or the, watch the, the hey, flags that I, they were I, throwing? It was fun watching the flags come out. There's five, there's five flags on five flags on the field right now. It, it looked like a like a fireworks display, man. They just started sprouting up everywhere. 
Look at the run, though. My goodness. Well, that was special, too. What a return that will be negated. Well, you got you still got some players down, too, huh? so I don't know. We got some blindside blocks. Illegal happening. block in the back. Yep. Receiving, Receiving team, team, number, number 25. 25. 10-yard ten ten penalty. penalty. First, First and 10. ten. It, where does he rank in terms of exciting players to watch with the ball in his hand he's in this town? Injury timeout. We've been blessed this year, Gabe. You know, we got a lot of great talent in the city of San Antonio. We've done a lot of games this year, and, and man, we got a, we got a lot of young ones. We got some, you know, some seniors, but we got, you know, these guys are. And we got two good ones tonight, man. So it's like, you know, we're, we, we're blessed. We have been blessed, and Bobby. To answer your question, I, I'd say he's a top five kid, and you got to understand, man. This is the year with some dynamic athletes mm -hmm. all up and down. Whether we've seen them in the Pigskin Classic, whether we've watched them during the regular season, and Gonzalez, Skelly is as good yeah. as any of them, just electric. That's why I just defer to talking generalities and not put a number to it, because like it. <laughs> that's kind of how I roll. I'm not, you know. You stymied me. Good let's, job. Let's predict who's good. No, no, I'm just telling you, man. They're in their, in their own right in a different ball game. They, you know. Well, and another top running back in the city is T.J. Andrews, and he has been very quiet tonight, guys. Nine carries for 31 yards for Taft. First down for the Hawks, leading 20 to 10. Moore Jacob Hello. Uh, gets wrapped up right away. A little bear hug there by Caleb Fogel. Yeah, we, we haven't said his name since the first half, so he's finally getting back in the mix right there, and getting off his block for another tackle for loss right there. And, and how quickly did he get off of that? He was in the backfield immediately. Yeah, you were talking about T.J. Andrews getting stopped tonight. This two weeks in a row, the Jay Mustang shut him down last week as well. So, again, you want to get... Defense needs to get a turnover right here, Gabe. I'm going to keep telling you that. This is something that needs to... The defense needs to spark it and needs to roll through them, I think. That's where the spark needs to come from, man. It needs to come from that defense because the offense ain't, ain't providing it tonight. Out to Jacob Gonzalez. He's going to throw it down the field. He's got a man wide open. He didn't throw it great, but it was good enough to be caught by Isaiah Manchester. He hits him in stride, obviously, touchdown, but great catch going up and getting it. You saw how deep uh, Gonzalez was. You know this is a double pass coming right here. Guys, do you remember earlier in the game they, they ran a swing pass kind of like that, and Jacob went ahead and ran it? It looks similar, but this time he pulls up and throws it. Yeah, he went a little bit deeper on that one. That was, like, obvious. Jacob. That was a great catch, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that the was ball a... was about to be a little bit over. If he yeah. just kept running, he'd have been all right, but he yeah. kind of stuttered. And... Jacob would probably like to throw that one one more time. But it's still a big gain down to the 40-yard line. Jacob Gonzalez on the ground. Back door. Rushing it again. And too much speed. Jacob Gonzalez, 40-yard touchdown run. He is so explosive, man. He saw that back door. He, you see him right here. He sets this up perfectly, man. You see a motion to the to the right side right there. Taft rolls their secondary, which means they just they roll guys over there, extra guys. He starts to his right. Watch this. Starts to his right, pops it back out. See ya. And it's a foot race. Yeah, he's probably the top five, Gabe. I'll give him a number. Yeah, he's, man. He's, he's the top five. He's legit, man. 26 with the extra point to come. And the extra point is added on. And it is now 27 to 10. Harlan starting to pull away. You're watching the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on BTV. Don Racker here. If you've never had five-star service, now's the time to give John Wayne a try. With the fall weather, my techs aren't as busy, so we're having a BOGO sale. Buy any precision tune-up, get one free. That includes a heating, air conditioning, water heater, or electrical panel tune-up. That's right, buy one tune-up, get one for free for only $69. And if my technician didn't provide you with five-star service, I'll give you your money back. Give John Wayne a try today. Call or text at 293-6700 and tell them you want the BOGO deal. 
I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. The Harlem Hawks, folks, they look primed and ready for a playoff run. Three plays at 67 yards on that scoring drive. Jacob Gonzalez with a 40-yard touchdown run, which puts him up to 194 yards now and two TDs as the Hawks, they're looking strong, Andy. I tell you, they've got a, a, a bracket that is somewhat favorable if you look at it closely. Don't be surprised to see a playoff run from this team. Once again, it's Blanco with the uh, return. It's a big ooh block, and now there's a return out to the 40-yard line. Helmets yeah. they, you know, anytime on the hear, field. Anytime the referees hear ooh from the stands, they're going to throw a flag. Two of flags that came down. And then the other flag's going to be a kid that had his helmet knocked yeah. off, still running. They're going to say illegal participation probably on that one, which, okay. Let's watch the hit here, folks. Right there. Oh, that was clean. <laughs> that was a clean block. Was it ooh worthy? Yeah, it was. It, I, I it's old school. You see what they call right? It'd be interesting to see because I thought it was a clean block. I had no issue with the block. It's got I, to a point where if you hit too hard, they just call unnecessary roughness. You can't hit him too hard. Holding. All right. Receiving team. Yeah. That's, ten yard penalty. Now that started a foul. First and ten. All right, that was not. Related to that. Yeah, it was yeah. not related to the big hit that we saw, which was, was a clean block. It was un -ooh related. All right. <laughs> you know, and, and Bobby, getting, getting back to your point, and Andy, I'll, I'll refer to you to see if this is an accurate statement. I think to make a run in the playoffs, you got to have a great defense, and you have to have a difference maker. And, and to me, that's, that's check one and check two for this Harlan Hawks team. I mean, you have to have a little bit of luck. Let's don't lie. I mean, you that, know, that plays in as well. Yes, because you know, as far as injuries and things like that, I mean, it, you know, you see teams that are making a run and they lose a couple key people. But yeah, absolutely. You got to have a playmaker and a defense. And you got a shot. That defense has been wonderful tonight. Lot deep drop, deep ball. Got this him. one's caught at the 40 yard line and into Hawk territory goes Shamir Finister. One of their biggest plays of the night. Brought him across from the left side. He starts on the left of the formation, just runs across the field. And again, Lott gives him time, and he kind of leads him across the field. You'll see him come into your screen right there, throws him open, brings another crossing route from the from the right side there. And well, really, Harlan has them where they want them, where they can't run the ball. So you got to be able to complete some passes. And I'm not great with math, as we all know, but it's a three-score game, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Phew! <laughs> If I was a little rascal, what you would my spell, name be? You don't do math. That's great. <laughs> Lot keeps it. This time some there room. There you go. Lot breaks it. Hang on the ball. Up to the 20-yard line. Made a good fake to T.J. Andrews, and then gotta go. Johnny Lot does the rest. Got to go, though. Got to hurry. I agree tempo. with you. Let's go. Keep it rolling. You got, got him on your heels. Again, that's his quarterback counter. They pulled two backside linemen right there. Textbook. First down to the 20. And you got Porter back in the backfield. Yeah, Porter's the H back. Looking for a throw back to him. Porter. They throw it to Porter. Dives and makes Great a catch. catch. Oh my, what a catch Great by Clay Porter. Porter. My goodness gracious. In the hole, good ball by Lott. They had coverage over the top, so he had to put it in the window. Little side pocket flavor to it right here. Little half roll, throwing it back, knowing he was going to be there. Throws him open. Great job laying out for that. That's a candidate, I'm telling you. First and goal. Thing. That was a play of the week candidate yeah, for sure. Great stuff. It's first and goal at the five. Taft has to score here. They gave it to Andrews. And he's going to get wrestled to the ground. KJ Allen, along with. Uh, Yair Galicio. Yeah, Galicio had him around the ankles, man. Nowhere to go. It's nothing between the tackles. And the knee. Well, and again, the linebackers are doing a good job. Uh, TJ's a big kid. They're going down low on him, man. And he's, he's, you know, trying to frustrate him a little bit. 
They put him at the wing, and now Andrews comes from the left wing flag. and cuts it upfield with a touchdown. There's a flag. They kind of hit him there, or tried to at least. I'm going to say legal procedure right here against the Raiders, and again, inside your own five-yard line. Gosh dang it, you know. Illegal formation, offense, more than four in the backfield. Five-yard penalty, second down. Second that, time tonight they've called that. That negated a fourth down conversion, guys, earlier tonight, which I think was the turning point of the game. Negating it uh, fourth down, well, at least a chance at a fourth down conversion because it was going to be fourth and one. Well, they had the conversion. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they negated that, and then this time negates a touchdown. Second and goal at the nine now. Sure Lot drops got, back. Make sure you got the right people on the line of scrimmage here. No more than four in the backfield. And they get a timeout yep. from Coach State, so we'll take it with them. Out. Four minutes to go. You're That's watching the high school football showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. The BGC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Anyways, they hold on to this one, 85 yards. We have the games, we have the technology, and it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app, experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. I'm Rashad Wisdom. Coach showed us what it takes to win on the field and in life. You've got to have power and determination. You've got to be fearless but smart with a focused strategy. That's what it takes to win, and that's what attorney Wayne Wright's got. Wayne Wright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. When life knocks you down with a car, motorcycle, or 18-wheeler wreck injury, get a champion. Wayne Wright. Don't wait. Call 8. Call Wayne Wright now. 888-8888. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wayne Wright injury lawyers. That uses their second timeout, so if they do score, we're going to get to see one of those Taft infamous onside kicks. It's second and goal at the nine. Lot rolls right, tries to throw back again, up for grabs, and this one's uh -huh. picked off. Intercepted Watch and out. returnable. 100 yards, pick Two. six. Yep, and it's going to be a pick. Nope, got caught. That was Destin Bean. Destin Bean with the INT and nearly took it a Hyundai. Yeah, great effort by TJ Andrews running it down, not giving up on it, and touchdown saving tackle by him right here. But Lot threw that up for grabs a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that hung in the air too long. And Bean about three yards deep. Yeah, he dropped with it. He was right where he needed to be in that. Flag down. Flag on the uh, all the way to the other end of the field. Everybody's like, I'm tired. All the bigs are like, what? <laughs> 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 They're walking <Man>. back. <laughs> I can't brief. Well, that to do it, folks. Personal uh, foul. Blindside block on the intercepting team. Half the distance to the goal. From a spot of the foul. <laughs> that is a defensive guy wanting to hit somebody. Yeah. In the days of... The days of that is over with. What, they will what, not allow that, unfortunately. Gabriel, we used to get a helmet sticker for a hit like that. I oh, yeah. To, I used to draw a play so we could do that. <laughs> we got stickers in McCollum, too. I just got them all over my feet. My, they weren't going to my helmet. Hey, my center loved me, Gabe, because I'd, we'd run the bootleg and I'd let him peel back. <laughs> yeah. And that was the highlight reel. Well, that'll do her, guys. I'm pretty sure that's the, the nail, the infamous nail in the coffin, maybe. Yeah, and you better keep an eye on number. If you rest for just a second, you'll have Jacob Gonzalez going 90 on you. First down at the uh, eight-yard line, and it is Jacob Gonzalez. Mm -mm. And he may go 90. Mm -mm -mm. He'll go 90-plus. Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? 92 yards, makes a cut. Nope, wow. stopped at the 30. Another day at the office. Thanks for coming out. Have a nice evening. It's another flag down, guys. Walk it back again. <laughs> you the big boys, man. <laughs> I, I don't know that. I think you pull Gonzalez out of the game now, man. I know it's 325. Yeah, yeah, you, you, got a, you got something probably there, but those poor bigs, man, for Harlan, they, they looked up and they're like, 
Bro, that's like two plays in a row we run 200 yeah. yards. If I'm Eddie Salas, I'm pulling Holding seven out of the game offense. now. Number zero. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Uh, is it? No, it should not. Well, yeah, first down, but it'd be first in about eight. Spot of the foul, the 20. So, okay, maybe he will go 90. That would have been 98. Play. He got tackled short. Gabe, okay, what about the officials having to run back and forth so much? <laughs> yes, there's some huffing and puffing out there. I may have saw an asthma puffer cop come out too. New running back in, and that is uh, CJ Jackson. And let's see if Ricky State even goes to the timeouts. He might if he can get this to third down. Just one left. You're down three scores. It's probably over, but you got to fight because you could force them to punt from their end zone. You could get a cheap one. And if they got a cheap one, i.e. A, a safety or something like that, they could get within two scores and get the ball back. That's probably the ideal thing to happen for Taft is somehow create a safety here. Second down. Jackson again. Jackson, fresh legs, first down. Great center of gravity right there. Just keeps his feet turning, and you're right. He, he comes in fresh. These guys have been playing four quarters. And had under pad. How about the uh, offensive line tonight for uh, Harlan as well? Excellent. Just fantastic tonight, Andy. Well, and I, I tell you what, they got in that jumbo package, man. I was fired up. They put that offensive lineman in there and, and pulled those bigs up front. And again, you know, you got guys like Austin Tiarina and, and Miles Manfield. Josh Acevedo came in. Uh, Miguel Carrizales and Farrell uh, Del Silva Sosa uh, all playing a big role tonight for the Harlan Hawks. Another new runner for Harlan, this time. Is it 23? 23? Yes, Devin sir. Caldera, another senior. And again, Ricky State, I think, is content to let this run down. You got bigger fish to fry starting next week. I agree. Week. Uh, hell of a season. You made the final four cut to get in. It's You're going to go on. in third. Why not? Yeah. Um, Andy, uh, it, it seems like Harlan did a much better job of bouncing back from their unlikely loss than, than what Taft will. But I agree with you, man. They're they're playing next week, and that you know at the start of the season, that's your goal is to play play into week 12. Second and seven. Up to the 30-yard line. I'm snap it one more time here. And a little scuffle. Yeah, a little chippy. They, hug, they hugged. They hugged it out. It's all good. They're realizing what the penalty. Right. You don't. If you hug it out, there's no penalty, right? Yeah. They, I didn't yeah. mean it. I didn't mean it. If you hug, there's no penalty. I agree with you, Bob. But we can't blindside anymore. But that's all right. <laughs> if it's hug, a blindside hug. You can hug them. <laughs> if it's a blindside hug, Andy. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Everybody gets to play next week. No frustrations, teenagers, life lessons. Gotta love high school football. Well, what's going on? He's gonna tell us. Hang on. Please do a 10 second runoff on the clock. Necessary hugging. But defense <laughs> player helmet coming out. Causing the clock to stop. All right. Please place second 35 runoff. seconds on the clock. Under one minute, 10 second runoff for a player losing his helmet, making the clock stop. Is there a, such thing as an unnecessary hug, Gabe? I, Andy knows every rule Gabriel, and every sub rule. These rules that are unnecessary rules, I, you know. They you don't know even have to snap it, guys. Unnecessary show when of you affection. have unnecessary anything, that means something needs to be necessary. So at what point does <laughs> it become unnecessary? That's a very subjective call. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. The Harlan Hawks will finish in second place. They probably will get to host next week now in the first round of the playoffs. So finish the regular season eight and two. Taft will go playoff bound at seven and three. And the Hawks win the uh, season finale in the regular season, 27 to 10. You're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV.
Central Builders is an award-winning general contractor headquartered in San Antonio. Their construction projects include large-scale remodels, expansions, and ground-up construction. Their comprehensive service offerings, along with dedication to quality workmanship, make them one of the top contractors in the city. Central Builders is a proud sponsor of Texas Sports Productions. Call Central Builders at their San Antonio office at 210-590-0235 or visit them online at centralbuilders.net. Y100, San Antonio's new country leader. Alamo City Proud. Mornings with Frito and Katie. Your hometown country station. San Antonio's new country leader. Y100. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships has in stock over 2,500 pre-owned vehicles and over 1,800 new vehicles in stock or in transit. Choose from cars, trucks, and SUVs, domestic or import. Every vehicle includes our low posted price and our no-hassle 72-hour return policy. So no matter where you live, we have a convenient location for your next vehicle purchase. The Kaleg Auto Group, the North Park Blue Bonnet family of dealerships. 2023 San Antonio Gunslinger season tickets are now on sale. Let's go, Gunslingers. Let's go, baby. Reserve your tickets for the original professional football team in San Antonio, the Gunslingers. It's fast paced, high flying, over the wall professional football. Plus, non stop entertainment. Affordable family fun is what the San Antonio Gunslingers are all about. To get the best seats and prices, reserve your 2023 San Antonio Gunslingers season tickets now. Don Rackler here. Don't miss out on end-of-the-year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Zakari Franklin. On the football field, my job is to do whatever it takes to win. Coach taught us we win the game with the right plan and teamwork. Your future's not a game. After a serious injury from a car truck wreck, how things turn out depends on having the right plan. Wainwright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Get a fierce, experienced team of lawyers who do what it takes to win. Call Wainwright now. 888-8888. Don't wait. Call 8. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. All right, guys, Gabe Farias here with the winning football coach, Eddie Salas. Coach, about six, seven weeks ago, you guys had a game on MeTV. You guys lost to O'Connor, one of those head scratchers. But from that point, assessed your team's play to this point here, end of the season. Yeah, I think that was a kickstart for us. I think, you know, we, have, we had a good team and have a good team. And I think when you look at it in that game, uh, it spring forward us, uh, you know, forward because, uh, you know, there's a lot of things we had to clean up and they exposed it. And, uh, and now we're here, and that's all that matters. It's always how you end. You know, people always look at the, at the number sevens and, and, you know, Noah and what those guys do. But this is a collective effort football team, and it starts with the guys on the offense and defensive lines. Talk about the front on both sides of the football. Oh, both sides on the front. I mean, amazing guys. If you, you were to watch them in the offseason in the summer, they're just a, a family, a bond. They bond together, big-time brotherhood. Uh, uh, you know, they, they're always working hard together, and that's what brings them together. I think anytime you have that gel with the kids that early in the spring and the summer, great things happen in the fall. Let's talk about the play of, of, of Gonzalez at, at tailback for you guys. He's, he's a difference maker. He's a difference maker. He's special. We just give him the give him the ball and let him do his thing. You know, I tell you, he runs great. He has great vision, uh, cuts well. I mean, what can you say about him? You know, I'm glad he's on my side. Eddie, congratulations. Best of luck in the playoffs. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and run right quick to our John Wayne Service Company player of the game, Jacob Gonzalez. Jacob, you know, we always, I was just telling Coach Salas, we always talk about the Noah Ferris's and the Jacob Gonzalez's and, and the skilled players, but those guys up front for you, man, that offensive line, talk about what that offensive line means to you guys. Honestly, throughout the season, I couldn't have been, I couldn't have done this without any of them. Right now, I probably rushed for over 1,300 today, tonight, and all thanks to the linemen up front, I couldn't have done it without them, and the offensive line coach does a great job coaching them every night, every day at practice, and 
I just follow the lead of my offensive coordinator and the big boys up front lead me to my rushing yards and my touchdowns, so I give it all up to them. And your defense, you know, Harlan's always known for having this explosive offense, but you guys have got a pretty good defense as well. Yes, sir, our defense in the beginning of the season was a little slow, but thanks to our defensive coordinator as well, he got him in check. He got all our position coaches on uh, defense. Just We worked every day. We learned a little bit by little bit each game, and we just got better as a team, and here we are now. What was your message? What was the message to the team heading into this last game of the season? I'm sure it was finished strong. Yes, sir, it was finished strong. I was telling my teammates we just got to go in there, put our hands down, and we want to go in the playoff as a win, just to light a fire under our butts and keep it moving, keep it going, and going with a positive note in the playoffs and keep going. Jacob, congratulations. Jacob Gonzalez, our final John Wayne Service Company player of the game for the regular season. Congratulations, Thank my you. friend. Yes, sir. All right, Harlan wins at 27 to 10. We'll be back to wrap it up. After these messages, you're watching the High School Football Showcase presented by John Wayne Service Company on MeTV. Don Rackler here. Don't miss out on end of the year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Oscar Cardenas. In football, we fight hard to make it happen. That's what makes us winners. 18-wheeler or company vehicle wreck injury put you on the sidelines? Get a winner to fight for you. A lawyer with grit and determination who will not stop until you get justice and all the money you deserve. And that's Wainwright Injury Lawyers, so don't wait. Call 8. Call Wainwright Injury Lawyers. 888-8888 now. Want to win? You know who to call. That's right, Wainwright. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. It's so easy to love pick and pull. Why? How about the largest inventory in South Texas? How about the ease of finding your part with our interchange and real-time inventory search at pickandpullsa.com? How about an organized yard and maps to find your parts plus a shuttle? At Pick and Pull, we make it easy to save money on the quality used auto parts you need at a price you can afford. More to pick, less pull from your budget. Now that's Pick and Pull. The BGC app, KSAT and TSB are delivering the best high school football Texas has ever streamed. Hey, hold on to this one, 85 yards. We have the games, we have the technology, and it's all free. Over 100 games, highlights, and more. Bigger, stronger, better. This season, expect more. The BGC app, experience the next generation of coverage. Powered by the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Don Rackler here. Don't miss out on end of the year savings on a new heating and cooling system from John Wayne Service Company. Save up to $3,000 before government regulations force prices to go up in January. Plus, enjoy that new system with no interest and no payments for 12 months. And when you purchase a new system from John Wayne in the next seven days, we'll install a complete home air purifying system to kill harmful bacteria and viruses for free. Call or text John Wayne today at 293-6700. I'm Zachary Franklin. On the football field, my job is to do whatever it takes to win. Coach taught us we win the game with the right plan and teamwork. Your future is not a game. After a serious injury from a car truck wreck, how things turn out depends on having the right plan. Wainwright lawyers fight to get you the most money possible. Get a fierce, experienced team of lawyers who do what it takes to win. Call Wainwright now. 888-8888. Don't wait. Call 8. Respect. Justice. Demand it. Wainwright Injury Lawyers. Fair Stadium empties out. The Thursday night contest is over. The regular season is over for these two teams, and they're both playoff bound as we welcome you back here uh, to the booth. Bobby Stotzenberg along with Andy Skelton. Harlan 27 to 10 over the uh, Taft Raiders. And, uh, you know, Jacob Gonzalez is definitely a player of the game with the 194 yards and two TDs, but 
As uh, Gabe said, and, and he got both the player and coach to comment on it, that defense was outstanding. And I think as long as you have a player like Jacob Gonzalez on offense, if you play good defense, you're always going to have a chance. Well, and again, you got the linebackers, you got Butler, you got Galatio, that the front three played lights out. You got to have a defense to make a run, and they got a defense. I'm saying two, three rounds, and let's see what happens with the Harlan Hawks because they're, they're peaking at the right time. And again, seven is a special addition, you know, Coach Salas is like, I'm glad he's on our side, man, because he is a difference maker. And they, they just give him the ball, man. Let him find the hole uh, and let the bigs up front do what they do. And it, it all kind of just gels together. Uh, and it works. And it's, hey, it's playoff time. You know, and it's a, it's a fun time of year for these kids. Uh, you know, get yourself uh, cleaned up and, and getting ice on your bumps right. and bruises and let's go play next week. And, and uh, uh, you know, winner takes all. You know, loser goes home starting next week. So playoff time in Texas. Nothing else like it. All right, so we have been told that both Brennan – and Brandeis will get to host next week at on Friday night. That's what we've been told, at least to this point, which means Harlan is likely to host a game either Thursday or Saturday. So they'll play a team from the Laredo and uh, Eagle Pass Del Rio district. We don't know who yet, yeah. but uh, it'll be one of those teams. we got to wait to see how that shakes out down there. That's a, a five-man rat yeah. race down there. So, it, yeah, just stand by. Stand by. We'll and we'll for, let you know. Well, for the Taft Raiders, again, uh, uh, teams around here are probably getting kind of used to the style of play that's going to be uh, run against them. And so uh, you get a lot of scouting, and, and, and the teams get used to what they do unless you haven't played them, in which uh, they're going to play teams that they haven't played. So I, I don't uh, count Ricky State's team out just yet. Uh, they may have a playoff run in them as well. Well, I mean, they're in. Number one, you're yeah. in. If you're in the playoffs, you got a shot at making a run. All you got to do is win that day. You don't have to win all five weeks of the playoffs. Win today uh, and, and move on to the next week. And great things. We've seen teams make the playoffs that were, were, were what, four and six and went to a state championship. Right. Half comes to mind back in right. the day. Uh, you never know. It's crazy. That's what's beautiful about high school athletics uh, and, and playing football in November. All right, folks, uh, that will uh, be the end of the regular season for us uh, here at TSP and BGC, at least as far as our coverage on MeTV and uh, KSAT. You can see the uh, schedule tomorrow, uh, a full slate of games tomorrow as well as Saturday. Uh, so check it out on the uh, KSAT Big Game coverage app. As far as going forward in the playoffs now, guys, uh, I can tell you that uh, it is up. It's not. It's out of our hands. It's up to the UIL to decide whether they allow us to continue or not. So all we can do is ask, and we will ask, and we will request uh, to televise playoff games for you here in the San Antonio area. If they grant it to us, we'll see you next week. If they don't, then we won't, but we uh, we can tell you we'll also have a lot of uh, on-the-air radio coverage on TexasSportsProductions.com and also BGC, so you'll get to follow the local teams via the old-school way, uh, live radio broadcast. So uh, we invite you to listen in next week as well and hopefully watch in here on uh, MeTV or KSAT 12. So we thank the entire staff at KSAT. Uh, for, from the Pigskin Classic all the way to now, they've uh, supported us very well. And we thank you, the viewer, for watching all season long. We hope there's more. We'll find out next week. Once again, your final score from uh, Fair Stadium, the Harlan Hawks 27 and the Taft Raiders 10. For Gabe Fadias down on the sideline and Andy Skelton in the booth, this is Bobby Stotzenberger saying so long for now. <laughs>